Yeah. And we can't be copyrighted for a me remix, right? Yes. We better can. not. <laughs> can't be copyrighted for a remix. You do know that, right? Uh, Are you guys ready? No. If this gets to be copyrighted. Uh -huh. I'm start I start stream. Alright. Hello guys. Barry, are you live yet? We're not gonna no. play this fucking Barry, we need you to go live. Scary skeleton We're waiting for you. I have to have a specific intro. <laughs> you hear us that would get you that gets us copyright if you play the remix. Alright, I'm just that Ryan, 30 seconds. Just need to be under 30 seconds. You no. do whatever you want. I'm just gonna <laughs> def it up and do my own thing and join in. <laughs> Alright. Okay, everyone, we're doing all. Oh, what's it called? I thought. Hello, we're doing a reaction stream. Creepy video slash uh, creepy pastas. If you, we're also gonna be doing, reading some creepy story dot uh, Reddit later. If, people, if you guys are interested in that. God, and also, stories. well done to Ren for reaching affiliate uh, Yay. today. Yeah, uh, since we can't hear clapping. The fuck? <laughs> Clap for that way, since we can't make the sound out loud, the mics don't always pick it up. So mm -hmm. we, that's the way we clap for Ren. Oh, Thank sorry. you, Taco, for your slow, awkward clap. <laughs> it wasn't slow. What <laughs> Thank you for your slow, awkward clap. <laughs> Should I yeah. subscribe to you? Yes, thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so Thank much. you for subscribing to Ren. Thank you so we much. All... I'm gonna cry because you subscribe to me. We hope you'll enjoy the stream and stuff. We're just waiting for SS Berry Milk to get back so we can all watch the video. Um, Subscribing to I you with my monthly allowance. <laughs> I sold my soul for a used dishwasher and would like it back. Creepy what pasta. a video. What a video. <laughs> I'm going to put in full screen now so when we start streaming. <laughs> oh, it looks, it, looks per it looks perfect actually for this. Thank God. I sold my soul for a dishwasher. For dishwasher. What the fuck? Uh, Harry. What is this title? Scary. I just don't. What in the hell? Me and Taco looked at and thought it would be perfect. It's perfect. It's it's the best thing ever. It's cursed. That's what it, that's what it is. I need to. Oh wait, fuck! I should announce I'm live in my Discord. <laughs> I did everywhere else, even Twitter. I'm so smart. Yeah, joke me like. It's idiot. embarrassing to be seen with you. Taco, I know. <laughs> you guys are Am fine. I drawing in blue? Shit. You guys are fine. It's okay. Oh no! You know why? Because I'm here. You. I said I was gonna quit the stream, and you said you wouldn't say it again. And oh, is... it's stuck in my head. Sometimes. That's why we said to stop because you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank Did you get you. a follow? No, he said look cute. Oh. Damn, you can get in the e-girls. Your e-guys. It's Ace! <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? You can get in the e-girls. What the fuck are you talking about? It's Ace. E-guys, I guess, son. Thank you. Thank you, Ace. Thank you. I like some fuckers. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, Karun, what the fuck? Wait, wait, I need to change my model. I forgot. Oh no, my mother! That was harassment. <laughs> What's harassment? Why'd you say this is harassment, bestie? I just wanted to, okay, oh, leave me alone. Okay. Alright. Right, sorry guys, I forgot to put my correct feature. <laughs> well, I do not happen again yet today, probably uh, so? will. Well, he's preparing just... himself. I have also added channel points. Hey. They're time coins because um Spooky. No 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 no. It's really because technically you're just collecting your souls or your currency. That that's a demonstration that's, for you though. That's that's time coins for you. <laughs> your soul. To your be soul. honest. All, all you're worth to me is your soul. No, well, that's a good no, no, I, I didn't say 
fighting the hell out them by the same bitch. Oh, man, my soul is more it's worth more than that. What the hell? I don't like being called a bitch. Oh, yeah. You're a bitch, huh? Uh, also for this, I'm going to be turning on, uh, what's it called, follow goals so we can see the videos better. You did in the first place? Forgot. Ren, I forgot I didn't turn it off yet. Dummy. <laughs> oh no, our table. I need to stop that. Like my head. We're now just waiting on SS Berry Milk, mm -hmm. so we're trying to be entertaining. SS Berry Milk can suck my dick. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Hello, SS Berry Milk. Why did everyone crack up laughing when I joined? Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> okay! <laughs> right, are you guys, who's all live right now to double, Rod Kong. I'm live. One, two, live. three, I'm four, sure right. Discord is coming after you. Dating something summer afternoon. I am very dumb. Right, are you guys ready to watch the videos? Yes, fuck. <laughs> All right, uh, for everyone else's chat who hadn't heard it, yeah, we're going to be watching creepy pastas, mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to do a, re a re we're going to read some scary stories after, and we can. Mm -hmm. we're, but first, we're going to watch. I sold my soul for Sorry, you. Sorry, he's so fucking loud. <laughs> Right, the video's playing now. Wow, this looks so interesting. As the title says, <laughs> I oh, sold my soul for a dishwasher. I look like a fucking menace. It seemed menace like a solid right now, trade sorry. at the time. A menace. It was online. Oh, the guy I forgot was to plug in it my on a local for pen. sale site, mm. and the guy uh -huh. wanted like two hundred pounds for it. I don't have that kind of money, and I asked if he'd be willing to go any to lower. Like in a joking manner. He suggested that he'd sell it me for my okay. soul, and even this including is fine. free this shipping totally and installation. This is totally not a stuff stream at all. I Sweet, Simon. You're the only one making stuff, dude. He emailed some you're documents, the... which Sorry. I didn't Can even read. Can you guys read. hear all fine? I no, signed, it's quiet. and the next oh, day, muted. two men showed up oh. and installed it. Can you guys hear it on my stream? Sorry. I was pretty <laughs> smug, <laughs> and assumed the guy just needed to get rid of it and had a sense of humor. Yes. However, it's right. since come to light. That I may have actually given away my soul. What? Oh, what? and souls are real. Who knew? Not me. Being soulless seems to come with a few side effects that have slowly but surely begun to impact my oh daily my life. I don't dream anymore. Who does Instead, that? each and every night, I find myself entering I a pool of nothingness I that I can't quite describe I'm about selling your soul for a dishwasher. I don't really have much yeah. passion for anything. <laughs> Not that I was the most passionate That's guy around shipping. before. That's so I'm, fucking I'm what you call a go with the flow cool. type of guy. Yeah. It was a free I don't dishwasher laugh or cry. Well. I'm never happy really? nor was, sad. I was, yeah. Angry or excited. I was you. Everything dumb. is inconsequential. You know, the nearest voice is meaning. very soothing though. I just mm -hmm. am. Oh, Ed? and I can see the dead, which kind of sucks. What? Right. I first realized I could see the dead. Right, and I walked give into my apartment and saw a dead guy. Wait, wait, pause uh -huh. the video. Pause the video. He was just standing there, staring at well, me. Pause the video. Mm -hmm. He just said casually, Yeah, I see spears now. <laughs> That's what <laughs> they just that said. I'm <laughs> well, so casual about that. This story is half an hour long, by oh the way. Oh my fucking god, we're not even halfway through! <laughs> do you guys want to watch this, or do you guys want to watch uh, Unsolved Mysteries? Could we watch something cool like Minecraft Creepypasta? No! No, no, no. 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 Right, well, do you guys, do you guys want to watch a different one than someone selling their soap for a dishwasher? Oh. Yes. Can I feel like... You could just come in and diss me. Oh no! Oh, thank you! Oh, thank you! Awful. I forgot my curtains fell off of my window. Jeez, How does your curtain is... fall off your window, Barry? The curtain rod that was holding it up is very old. Hello, JD. Please do not be disappointed in me. I feel like 
What? Yeah. I feel like the most like weirdest um when people try to narrate those stories of like I feel like mm -hmm. the most weirdest ones are like when they have it animated. That's when it's like, like starts death? being weird. No, like like actual like animation. Porn. No. Like this. The scary videos to watch this Halloween mega compilation. Are this free dark web stories? This is so why why did you why did you change it? Just oh look at just look at unsolved mysteries. It's not that hard. We were going to do that on Thursday, so that you know what we're moving it to. Bitch, what? I can't with you. Are we? D Hello, JK. Oh my God. JK, I'm a sin we I'm a witch that'll beat your ass up. Anyways. <laughs> I'll be Wait, there's a new one. Hmm? Oh, what the fuck? They're still active? There's a new one? Oh, bet. Yes. Let's watch the newest Let's one. Go. The horrors of Felix. Like, yeah, X. Let's go, guys. Help. Let's go. Stop! Opera GX! Why is there I've been using this browser for, I feel like, a year <laughs> now. And it has a. We need to update our ad block. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's not better. Yeah. That was such a loud ass oh. boom! I am so sorry. Hello, Bessie. Yeah. Bit of a bucket no list fuck. place, huh? Could you yeah. Turn it up? It's just when I actually cross the items Stop off this answer. bucket list, I'm not very no. excited. I am when I'm at home imagining it, but now that I'm standing here looking at it, okay, you nice. gotta be brave. Yeah. Do you remember how to do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The Bliss got Axe Murder House. Look, it's kind enough to remind us when the horrible event happened. Yeah. Oh, grab a picture, send a postcard to your parents. Oh. What? <laughs> What the hell? In other words, they just This week on BuzzFeed Unsolved, we investigate anyway, the Ballista coloring. Axe Murder House as part of our right, ongoing my chat, I'm gonna go live into back the question. In a second. Are uh, real? Uh, no, never mind. Oh, it's back. A location voted one of the most terrifying places in America. This unassuming family home in Villisca, oh. Iowa, was the setting for one of the most grisly, infamous Wait, unsolved murders in American history. So the ghoul boy is gonna show up and do that little dance. Right Knowing here. absolutely nothing what about is this, dad and having I'm driven right through now. Iowa, I'm terrified. I don't know. Because I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe that Iowa <laughs> is haunted. Okay. Just as a whole, just as soon as you cross the state lines, you could have a hitchhiking ghost. Yeah. Get and look, I'm sure there's plenty of nice people in Iowa, okay. but I'm from Illinois. Let's go to the so house already, go oh, God, Let's not oh bring God, up. I yeah, we got beef. Position. There's no reason to bring up the I State Turf War. There's a lot of turf out there. Turf wars, yeah, we don't like each other. How many skulls have you claimed in this turf war? Countless. Oh shit. Okay, let's get into it. Oh my god. Built There's in 1868, this three bedroom house was purchased by a local right business owner, Josiah B. Moore. Heard you in were talking shit. Yeah, Josiah, you. his wife, Sarah, and their four me. children, Herman, <laughs> Catherine, Boyd, and Paul, lived in the small frame home located on Thanks 2nd lot, Street Bessie. and were the very picture <laughs> oh, of a shit, perfect family. On June 9th, 1912, around 9 30 p.m. Excellent. The Moore family made their way back home after attending a special Rachel, service for I'm children back. at the Sorry, local church. So the to Moore face. family was joined by Sorry. Lena and Ina Stillinger, Hello, who were friends of their eldest oh God, daughter Lena and, and were sleeping over that night. Oh my God. Early the next morning, Mary Peckham, the Moore's neighbor, Girls was night. up at 5 a.m. hanging laundry. By I'm 7 a.m., she noticed messy. that no one in the Moore home yeah. was awake and doing their the usual nice daily chores. Right. Mary recalled that something Moore's just felt game. off. The Moore's untended horses began neighing, so Mary walked over to uh -huh. the Moore home and knocked on their door. I don't think that was neighing. There was no answer. I don't think those were horses. She I attempted to open the door, I know a but found it to be locked. Like... Growing no, increasingly distressed, Mary called Josiah's Sorry, brother Ross, range. and at 8.30 a.m. on the Bitch. morning of June Bitch. 10th, 1912, yeah. Ross Moore DLC stepped huh? inside his right. brother's <laughs> family home to find the right. unthinkable. I hope you appreciate the half a cent you get a month just from me following and subscribing to you. This might be the door <laughs> that the uh, killer entered through. Or at least some suspect that. They might they might add in a little, uh, three little bits of Hello. corn if you're lucky. Hi there! Well, this, this is, is the kitchen. Oh, we, we in the and house. as you can see, Let's go. everything is oh, fine. pretty much set as it would have been in 1912. Ooh. All of the furniture is almost the same. Ooh. This, for the most part, is what it looked like that night. 
Ooh. See, every footstep in here shakes this ass. You know, just as a quick example, because it seems to really, Ooh, if I just give a little. Which makes it kind of hard for me to believe that this guy could have snuck <laughs> what the around. Bonk? But he did. A little bonk. Somehow. Oh, he just jumped. You get bad vibes from this place, right? No, he I mean, I don't jumped. love it. I don't love any that of the places the that we go oh, through. So hold on. But I will Sorry. say that this place it's in particular, because, because it's so small and such horrible things happen in such a small area, the concentrated <laughs> dread here is unlike most places we've been to. <laughs> Ross opened the door to the downstairs bedroom Ross to find the, door. the lifeless <laughs> and bloodied bodies of Lena and Ina Stillinger in bed. The local paper paints a gruesome picture of what Ross Moore beheld that fateful morning. Why Quote, it... their heads chopped open oh. with an ax, a spectacle oh. so repulsive that it was almost beyond comprehension. Ask, they Six scream, more victims, but, uh, murdered mind, in identically then. the same fashion, lay in the two yeah. bedrooms upstairs, end quote. In just one the night, fuck? eight people had been systematically murdered night, with an ax, so. and not one person heard or saw a thing. Upon investigation, all eight victims appear to have been killed in their sleep, with one exception. The only sign of struggle apparent was with yes, Lena Stillinger. Her day. arm was arranged in a way that appeared she had tried to stop the attacker. She okay. also had a small cut on that same arm to suggest that she may have been nicked by the axe. Oh Strangely, God. investigators also discovered a two pound slab of raw oh. bacon. Carefully what? wrapped in a dish huh? towel okay. in the same room Two in which the Stillinger bacon? girls were found. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, the okay. fact that someone could commit uh, heinous crimes like this is baffling to me. Yeah, the just needs to be snack, guys. For me. I just don't, don't you guys just have two, my thoughts are. Two pounds Why would you have bacon? two pounds of bacon in the chest? Gripe. Oh, so this is kind of like the equivalent of like the horse head of the bed. Or he missed breakfast. This is the room that the Stillinger girls were killed in, and this is actually the first two bodies that were found by uh, Mr. Moore's oh, yeah. brother. Evidence. Well, they've sure got this place stocked <laughs> yes, up with spooky evidence. toys. Mm. That is true. They so definitely cornered evidence. the market on creepy dolls. Well, it's said that people feel very oppressive feelings in here. It's said to have split what groups up. Happening? They'll start arguing with each Everything. other and stuff Everything like that. Everything is happening. I dare them to try and split us up. <laughs> Can't be done. Can't be done. We're ghoul brothers. No, I'm not it's a bond that lasts forever. Anymore. They also found the two pounds of bacon right there. Not bacon. Fucking I'm gonna bacon. turn on a device here that it may help you speak with us. You can use the energy from this device to bacon. communicate. Not let this bacon it's go. everyone's favorite tool. Say it with me. Here Spirit. comes it's the Spirit, Spirit Box. Box. Okay, my name is Brian. I'm Shane. Can you say our names back to us? If there's something here with us I right now, can you say Ryan you or back. Shane? Yes. Do you want some bacon? <laughs> Okay. Right now I'm reaching out to whoever murdered in this house. Why did you do it? Bitch. Hey! What did he say? Oh, I heard movie screen. I'm gonna ask you again. Prove to me that it was you who did oh. this, because I don't believe you. Hey, you sick little weirdo. I'm huh? sorry, I don't think the ghost can out fucking Lena hear you and over your right loud now. ass sorry. speaker box. What happened Jesus to you happened Christ. to you. <laughs> Can you tell me your names if you're here? Do we? Are you scared of us? <laughs> like a remix. What the Where fuck? Did you, you said switch. Switch? Oh, I'll hold it. You want to talk to me? Here. Oh, I've never held this thing before. I don't enjoy it. Talk to me. I don't respect you. That should rile you up. I you think know, you suck. Ryan loves you, big fan of your work. That's not true. Yeah, he's box. a sicko, just like you. That's not Holy true. Shit. I think you're a loser. How are you enjoy us so Oh he's my god, I cannot, I could not out. hear. <laughs> the loud ass speaker box. Jesus, that thing sucks. Almost it does! It's later, so fucking loud! <laughs> it's annoying. I feel like the button by accident. I'm just trying to fix them. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're in the very okay. room in which their lives were shockingly cut short. The visitor called out to the girls, asking them to turn his flashlight screen. off and on. They obliged every time, causing him to proclaim, quote, 
I believe I the spirits know, of all eight victims uh, because, still dwell within that too house. Much lag and what, End quote. Was all in red, the so mag just light it. is who we we'll stream again Why? tomorrow. Because it's Whatever. not. There's. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh God, I think he blacked out. There's no correlation. Even if the flashlight was turning on and off, you okay, hear. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. You, there's nothing to back it up. There's no science behind it. You could say nothing at all. Did they, they will bring turn a on and off. Here's nerd the best I can talk about use here. The We're paranormal. sleeping in a tent. What is we hear hoof window? noises outside. We wake up is, in the morning and see right. hoof prints outside. How would that be so and effective? And I say, there were horses here last night. And you say, yes, it was a unicorn. And mm -hmm. I say, what? what? That's what's happening well, here. Unicorns aren't real. And ghosts are real. Ah! <laughs> Now, for me to me? really what think there's something here, I'm going to need to see some intelligent responses I think he's on the, the actual flashlight. <laughs> <how> you <do laughs> think he's I'm the murderer? Flashlight. <laughs> We're looking for Morse code. If there's something in here right now, please turn off the black one while turning on the blue something one. Something about want to see them switch. fighting exactly. the murderer. Oh, oh. oh no, not uh, good enough. Uh, you got to turn the black one off if you remember the instructions. That's what we were asking for. Okay. Let's turn off that black flashlight. Huh? Why, why is Come this unnushed so weirdly? <laughs> Just turn off That's that beautiful. sexy little flashlight. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the what fuck is happening? Boy, you're right not now. good at following instructions, huh? Oh, 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 switching them now? Are you gonna switch it? Switch from the black to the blue right now. Oh. oh. No, you're teasing us tonight, huh? These are the men in their thirties <laughs> trying on. to make BuzzFeed videos, and when I were to Look, know that. Look, we've heard lots of reports. I mean, they're probably getting paid for it. Whatever is in your love. I know that's the sad part. And all I'm seeing right are now is that happened, I would be screaming. Okay, now we're at even. Okay, if after baseline. This video, I switch Turn the blue to one, Google the one on the left. Turn to what? Five. I can, I'm four. If I can switch to Google Chrome three, after this. Sure. Two. If that one. Blue one on now. Turn on the blue one in three, okay. two. Mm, fuck, it's too soon. If we do it enough times, it'll be perfect. <laughs> man, <laughs> yeah, but I I'm wish they, I wish they go to give them the middle finger know, instead. I think we're alone in this yes. room right now. Yeah, I'm saying please give them the middle finger. Please Maybe you know. bring in the good vibes. We just, just I do bring good, good vibes. Babes. They're probably very happy. People that were murdered in that house. Coming in here being like, vibes, someone guys. in that bed was murdered. No words. You know, like, what do you mean, good vibes? What the, the hell? Do you not want to party with there yes. was bacon it in that sound house. unimaginable <laughs> now, but due to the heinous the nature of these crimes the only good and the fact point. that the town of Villisca only had 2,000 residents, shit. the crime scene became bacon. a full-blown spectacle with upwards of 100 people touring the home with the bodies of the eight victims still in it. Weren't you guys in one Even of the rooms after arriving that to had examine a the scene, in it? the town yes. marshal went so far right. as to let the townspeople Bestie handle the axe, utterly contaminating the murder weapon left behind Bro, why by the killer guys... themselves. Oh, they didn't even have fingerprints back then. Yeah, so they wouldn't have thought about it. I think it has everything to do with it, Ryan. Well, step right up! I'm uh, here so and see if you can I, do the same whack! Like, how I, how I feel it about it up? is oh, that right. I, I, I Wait think... Wait I was smiling in that way. I, one I think it was like a serial That's killer. The, the town marshal! That was really effective during those times because it was <laughs> yeah. so easy to win murder. Finally, at noon, Multiple about people three and a half noticed. hours after the bodies Well, they the killed eight people, Red. The like, I think National they would become a yeah, serial killer anyway after that. Like, I think a woman scene. killed like a hundred people or something. She got away with the murders, by the way. could have committed these eight gruesome acts murders on a quiet Sunday night in a town the Iowa Touring Act is called, quote, one of the finest cities in the state, end quote. The motive for the murders was unclear, as there was no evidence of a robbery or any other reason why the Moore Hello. family would have been targeted. Oh, no. Investigators no found Josiah's pants injury. hung on his and Sarah's bedpost, still Lots containing cash, a, a check, and keys. Why why is they it also it found a huge gash in the wall of the parents' upstairs yeah, bedroom the right above the mirror, now covered with clothing by the murderer. It is believed this mark was made, quote, by the upswing of the axe, end quote. Further evidence bears this out, as Josiah was the only victim killed with the sharp end of the axe. All seven others died by being bludgeoned with the blunt back edge of the axe. This is the well, they only bedroom her to of use the axe on the Josiah last and Sarah Moore, and it was here that 
there still is a mark from the axe from the upswing, so you could only imagine the force that this dude was coming down on. About to say, yeah, to this room. if you're trying also, to split someone's head open. Again, she I don't know what I get a lot of force Just straight up spooky. There's know. something about this guy. There's like, I don't know if it's a vanity thing or he, he was ashamed of what he was doing, but he couldn't control himself. And it's in, it was in the girl's bedroom. It's been everywhere. Yeah. Why so he in the girl's bedroom anyway? There are some right now I'm reaching girls. out to the spirit the of hell? Josiah and Sarah Moore. Okay. First off, thank you for having us in your house. Really, oh, no. genuinely sorry for what happened. I hope if they just smack like the thing saying, get the fuck out. <laughs> get night, the fuck out, please. Please, oh, no. reach out to the us. It's broken. Shut up. up. What? Sorry. Can you say that again? While the voice I heard in this moment was not captured, an audio recorder left in this room later picked up a voice saying this. Jesus Christ! Is this the voice oh, of the Villisca Axe murderer? Those audio and that was just horrible. Right oh, God damn it, that's the, that's the demonic spirit box. You were fucking Why did you do what you did? It's 1 a.m. right now, guys. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep turning it down because the spirit box is so Strangely, fucking loud. All eight of the victims' faces had been covered with clothing or bedding after being killed, and at some point, the yeah, murderer like the is also believed to have closed all the window curtains. So I obviously, mean, he couldn't have covered up those mirrors before he killed he them. Could've, it could've be too loud. If, if he was like sneaky. Well, he's gonna be sneaky in the first place. No, was it rainy that it's night called night? he just How murdered them and then just, just covered the blinds so you won't see him coming out the house. Bro, he's sneaky though. It's not a rocket science. They act like they've never seen a murderer in like the bloody footprints. Except now they're really buzzfeed unsolved. On the kitchen table Fair. from where the it's not unsolved, I'm pretty sure. Themselves something I mean, yeah, because they didn't find who fucking did it, but the like. Front door, locking uh, it just kill, the key just, with them. just kill someone. Let me, I'm kind of hungry. Caretaker, Johnny Hauser, I'm confused where have they have a two pound of bacon in their chest. That would stop him in his tracks. Just kind of hungry, you know. Hauser, what the fuck? stated that he was very much a skeptic prior to working Well, I've been eating pizza rolls this whole time. Exactly, bitch. And I locked the kitchen door so nobody like, can walk in. in like, and as I'm I've never had a pizza roll in my life. Walks in the house. End quote. Okay. Hauser goes on to say he's so positive it's someone trespassing that he decides right. to pull a prank that will set them straight. So he hides in the closet of the children's upstairs bedroom. Uh -huh. and waits Obviously, until, as quote, you do. Finally, he goes upstairs Bird. into the room I'm in. Oh, I God. kick the door open and scream. Nothing. At all. What the fuck? As soon as I see there's nothing, it just sucked the air like I got the wind knocked out of me. End quote. The ghost. This is the children's room, obviously. Or it's this more of like, um, murderers were really were assholes the back then. So he might have just went and hit somewhere else. To be sitting on just the best of him. Murderers are always assholes, Ren. They're literally murderers. Yeah, here. they are. That's fair. <laughs> fair. Nope. Not doing that. I'll go in. Nope. <laughs> <there. laughs> That means you're saying no. Is it awful? There's more people uh, in here. Okay. Bye bye. They're not even that I'm... demonic. Hey you guys, turn my light out. you know if you can, too. you know oh, if you can rent that house to stay in for a night. Do you want to do uh -huh. that? I'll just train. Be known. Yeah. Oh, right. Bestie, those are so fun. those are so expensive. Really they made them so expensive for, for some what reason. To you, happened to you. And What's most of it's waste again? your money. <laughs> do you have anything you'd like to say? You just sit there and stream together. I'm very, sure. I'm just hanging sure. from the ceiling, having a I'll fit pay for you, Ren. Whoever's with me right now. Well, the rest of us are. If nothing eating. actually genuine happens, we could just script something. No, oh, let's shit. not. This will be a real stream, bitch. She died. Yeah. Am I supposed well, to jump? What he just closet. did? What the fuck? I didn't chilling. see it. I was coloring. Fucking dead moved. I was. Oh shit. Is that you? It you barely know? moved. Am I blind or did it just oh, barely no, move? I didn't see a single thing, and I'm it, looking at this. It thing. didn't move. What occurred? Why is that guy freaking? I think they're still what? under the bed. Kind of felt the like this. Fucking bed. That oh, could be a Oh, that's a ghost reality, thing. Honestly. I thought somehow you kind of like bumped the wall because you know this house is. No, I was standing directly behind the door. Dude, if that was you that the moved door, the bed. The... Can you please move it again? Because I would like 
my big tall friend here to experience it. <laughs> oh, that's a common nerd. Can you move that curtain off the mirror? That little towel on that little blanket? I don't think. I think the general rule of Jules right is that you don't ask him to like show you stuff. Back. To be honest. Oh hell no! Oh, my Did God. I all kill him? Yes. Okay. Yes. No. Quirky. Quirky guys, guys. let's go murder them. Stop it. Not if I do it first. Stop it. Do you want us to stop? I think they're telling you to get the fuck stop out their house. Stop me! Somebody <laughs> stop me! No. no Stop you from what? Yeah. Is there anything you want to say to us? Oh. Hey, can I pause for a second? I have a yeah. What happened if it was the dad? That, you know how he was the only one killed by the axe? Anyway. Who, the dad? Mm, what happened if he just did it, to, did it all and did it to off himself? That is a very big possibility. Because they don't it really is. say anything else about the dad. Because the children were sleeping, the the daycare, the not daycare, the worker thought they saw somebody when they opened the door. They saw nobody, and they kind of live like really far out, like really mm -hmm. fucking far out. Mm -hmm. So no, so even if someone broke in for a chance or like walked in the house, it would be really it would be easy to like tell like oh yeah, someone got in the house, or some shit. And I doubt but, they wouldn't have been able to defend themselves. No. Unless they're a serial killer. Mm -hmm. But it's also like they didn't... Because the, the the lady was fighting back in her, when she died, so... so... What was the husband doing? They didn't say. They said, he was, it... they said he was dead. Well, in she the bed with if... her. But you know she was fighting back if she... If she... Yeah. Which what did she try to wake her husband up as well? Yeah. That's what the inks you supposed to do. Because, you know, who the fuck said you can defend yourself? You can't! What if, <laughs> what if they heard the kids scream as well? Yeah. That's what I'm confused about. Like, I thought someone was screaming. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, at least trying to scream. Are you, what did you mean they it, covered his mouth? This bit might sound morbid, but what? when you hear someone's head being crushed in a horrible way, yes, you would. Mm -hmm. you so would they either really trusted the dad, and he was smoke. The person was smoking. He had obviously big fucking boots, so they were just kind of walking. Yeah, the blood. Yeah, Thank you would you. hear like the blood footprints if they went for the children first and then like went for the <laughs> others. <laughs> Taking out the kids. <laughs> Just take them to the park in the sky. I hope y'all get murdered. Oh, God. Hope we get okay. murdered? Sorry. I'm about to say, what did I do? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Mosquito. Oh, no. Okay, let's, let's get continue. back to the video. Yeah, let's continue there. What are your there parents' names? Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Batman? I didn't really quite catch that. I know. Scatman. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, God. Is there anything to tell us about the person who killed you? Did you see them? If they pull the spirit box so. out their ass one more fucking Something time, one? I swear what, what to God. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Alright, turn it off. <laughs> love the spirit box, love all that it gives us. What a wonderful gift. Yeah, we love the, the sarcasm spirit box. in your voice. It sucks. It's a stupid piece of shit. While some investigations <laughs> suggest the presence I, of the I family in the house, in my bones, multiple others suggest that the house is haunted by the killer themselves. Investigators from the show Kindred Spirits picked up an EVP response to the question, did you do something to this family? The response? I killed them. Okay, a medium what, picked up the presence the, of the killer the dad, in their though, house, describing him that. as, quote, mm -hmm. giddy about what he was going to do, end uh, quote, okay. and that his favorite type of oh, person right. was the type that was weak and easily manipulated, like, quote, putty in his hands. Okay, sure. 
So if the killer wow. does indeed still reside in this house, how did he originally get in? What investigators Imagine. hypothesized oh, no. was that the murderer I mean, they could have locked the door to, the to get in, to be honest. By removing the screen of a first floor Do you know window. how shitty houses were built back then? Yeah, it's, it's not that hard to break in their house. <laughs> true, true, true. implausible in lieu of a far more terrifying theory. The murderer uh, was most God, likely murderer. hiding in the Moore's attic, lying in wait, and holding Josiah Moore's or it was the bad own hole. axe. <laughs> Mystery oh, solved. It was the dad. Oh hell no! Oh, wow. no. Hell no! I'm sorry. Right. Sorry, sorry, but Best if you know? there's one thing I'm not going to for haunted houses, this it's the concerning. fucking basement. That's where oh, that's most nice. people die. <laughs> I mean, the attic, the attic, and the basement. Both triggering, triggering rooms. Does he not see him in here? This actually terrifies me. Being in the attic. No, there's yeah, many or something. It's like almost 2 a.m. I can't do this right now. Good night. Oh Good night. No, I'm not going to sleep. Okay. I'm just saying I'm not good with horror anyway. I mean, to be honest, this is really horror well, because it's uh, kind of dumbed is... down. Yeah. What do you mean, bitch? <laughs> I'm just scared. Anyways. Just leave me alone. It's the Why are you, you horror? Mr. Bad hmm? news. If you want to be a, watch a scary movie, watch something scary, just play a scary game, to be honest. What was that? I'm you know, I, 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 I want someone to make a remix of all of this every time the ghost speaks. It just sounds it. so funny. Yeah. Is that true? Please. Friend, <laughs> what? If I wanted to watch a scary video, I watched the James Charles movie. I made the Why are you movie. still here? <laughs> yes. That is truly terrifying. What year is it? Eight. You know, what does that mean? 1964. That was nothing. Ten, it didn't seconds. say anything that ten, point. What the eight, fuck? Eight, eight, eight. Last chance to say eight, anything. Follow. Eight, seven, six, five, okay. four, four. four. I got my box cutter to defend myself. <laughs> but perhaps no event indicating the killer's Plastic presence wrench. remaining in the house mm. was more okay. clear than what happened <laughs> in 2014. Wait, 2014? 7th, what the fuck? The caretaker Johnny Hauser greeted that evening's Hello, overnight guest, a man in his 50s I'm glad you like the harder parents. Hauser noted that the man was carrying a large hunting knife oh, on his belt. No. Hauser checked them in. And then left for the night. Uh, the next no, ma'am. <laughs> no, the man who was no. apparently in the house alone Wait, had been stabbed in the downstairs bedroom the night before. The knife had been jabbed. So this into happened in 2014. Chest, and he laid in a pool yeah. of his own blood Holy until shit. he was found. The man's injuries okay. were labeled as self inflicted. Miraculously, what? the man survived the attack. And even returned to the home years okay. later. Why would you when return to a home? What the fuck? What actually happened that night? All the man could remember was going into the bedroom with the goal of provoking the spirits. And the okay, you deserve, knew, <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. You fucking emergency. deserve it. So let's see if I you were trying to piss them off. Of, oh, of course, I'm gonna raise up from the grave and fucking stab the you. Don't that fucking the first test thing me, the mate. Did was <laughs> I'll fight you. To the house for his behavior. Thank Houser you. states that he didn't believe a ghost stabbed the man, but he does think Hello, I am that in love perhaps with you. the house has a dangerous effect on people and their mental state while inside. Hey guys, oh. we'll be fine if we the go. Axe used Let's in just the go murders, anyway. Originally mm -hmm. owned by Josiah yeah, it's not like I was stabbed was here like three times. This very room in which the stabbing Come on, Pasty. Oh, Come on in. hell that no. Being said, we will now end our investigation individually in the home alone. Oh. Starting in the downstairs bedroom, just like the man who was supposedly the attacked bacon. in 2014. <laughs> you can hear my stomach, it's actually Did they ever like explain rubble. why there's You're a fucking two pound of bacon chest? I, sure. I, I am so confused. No <laughs> the environment that you'll be just, in. All you need to know is bacon. Quiet. Please solve that exactly mystery, please. The conditions. When he oh, Jeffrey, you can do it. The house, the way just like you're back. I was thinking that. Here we are. In the good old Velisca. Okay. Axe. 
Murder house. All right. Uh, it's me, Shane. I'm here alone, so now's a great time to to fuck with me. You know, it used to tear me up that Why he would, would uh, go in there and have a grand old time, but now I'm just frankly impressed by it. And he just seems to have no fear. Would oh. Why don't you turn that left flashlight oh. off right now? Oh. If you're a killer. Oh, I don't know what the hell just happened there. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, it fucking turned my... Ugh. God damn, I get caught as fucking mic. To, to stick around God damn it. this house. <laughs> my uh, mic just tried to force you, itself as headphones. Kind of it really just did. Like, damn, team. bitch, I didn't ask you. <laughs> it just starts displaying the sound. <laughs> so is that your friend number best? somewhere else? Or is this like, uh... Huh? You return to the scene Nothing. of the crime to yuck Oh, there used to be a phone bit. number? I don't know. No. Okay, okay. Just, thank God. Uh, Most of it was censored. Yes. Okay, uh, thank yes. God. <laughs> you did choose to return here? You know, I, I could acknowledge intellectually that I'm not gonna die in there. But for whatever reason, it's still that. very horrifying. A did. man got <laughs> stabbed in 2014. What do you uh, mean you're not gonna die the in there? What the hell? Yeah, I'm gonna die. Fuck off! The thing that probably sucks the most the about hell, this man? one is that that spirit in there, die. if I the killer is in fact in there, <laughs> tends to um, Bro. really gravitate towards <laughs> antagonistic forces Bro. or people who are scared. And what Shane's doing in there is kissing it off. I just got a notification that says, be careful what gonna, you wish. The, the, the <laughs> guy's gonna be in there, you know. Oh, okay. You know, Damn, that's <laughs> ominous. Ominous. And be so scared with him serious, being pissed off still. already. Still, and man. During our spooky, scary the video, murderer. I don't know how yeah, dare the murderer? The murderer no, no, the the has now got a TikTok. To oh, no. Excuse he's me? got his TikTok from. He's week. after Barry, guys. We're fine. They know you live in the house, Barry. So they know you live in the house. Oh, dear. My mouth is frozen. I don't know why. It's just... Like a... Oh no. My mouth. Uh, something's <laughs> happening to all of us now. No, oh yeah, my stream wouldn't work. My oh. mouth is frozen. Oh, no. I'm so oh, no. vulnerable right now. Oh my god. I got a box after Oh no. You can really take Wait, I should... it in the oh, eye no. So many people would why am I always surprised now? What the fuck? What happened? Why are you like, oh holding a box cutter after finding out this murder? What this murder does? I have no idea. Oh, what? Sorry, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like thinking of what I had. There. I took a little nap up on the top. Don't worry, I've got a. I could get my mom to get Ooh. some holy water. Yeah, it's fine. Really Stop it. Me, Stop though. it. Stop. You should. Stop. Yeah, Stop no, trying to switch like everything. Your eyes actually look really scary right now. Barry. Because I've been. Yes. Yeah. Now get on in there. Will you get us holy water? Can you send us all holy water? I have no How idea. How the fuck did I get myself okay, into this? Hold on. Well, hold on. Can we set like? Let me is, fix is myself holy real quick. Let me fix over? myself real quick. I'm not my fear. I'm stronger than my fear. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't hear any screams right now. I'm stronger than my fear. He may be <laughs> I never thought of it that way, Kuro, but heart yes, just holy water is technically just Jesus' bath there. water. Okay, I'm in the. Can you tell your mom I said that? Still in your room. Yes, I will. Still in your. This is I will bring it up tonight at dinner. Two girls that were sleeping over. Wow. Ha, 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 ha. Hello. Hello. I didn't mean to laugh at that. Oh, I am just incredibly nervous. What right the now. fuck? We're Hello. just gonna go with one plan. Like your folks. The girl is for the blue light. We're what? Watching... If there's somebody what in here with me right said, now, turn that bad boy off. They're talking about girls. Now. Oh yeah, I love talking Jesus about girls. Walter. I have no Back idea what I'm talking about girls for. That was just so weird. I drink Yumi Tom's bath water. Just in my head. Was it close to my head? Excuse Nothing. me? And the light turned off. Okay. What? Well, oh, I forgot God and Taco talk. If somebody talk in here with me right now, day. turn the light back on. Oh, yeah, that's Three, right. Two, yeah, we're actually one. talking right now. On. Oh, is it your boyfriend? Uh, yeah. A great deal of my time was spent How's that napping. going? Okay, there we go. It's going great. All right. We've done good. Good conversation. What's the scariest thing I can do <laughs> yes. even as someone who doesn't believe in ghosts? No question. It's fine. Already going have. into this allegedly haunted house, fair. laying no on the ground next murder. to a bed where a person was murdered <laughs> okay, in their sleep, and closing your eyes is uh, a good challenge. Okay. This is going what's upstairs. going on between us right now. What about Parents challenges? Bedroom. I love a good challenge. Is there anybody in here with me? No, it's a good right, challenge. We're going... 
got the fall asleep doing I know this my big tall video. friend came in here and probably roughed you up a <laughs> little my bit. God. <laughs> Told you that I was the guy that you so could come boring. in and push around. That's not true. What's in that? fact, I'm one of the most feared he ghost said, hunters He's basically alive. saying, don't bully me, ghost. I'm a big are, man. A ghost. I drink milk for my man. breakfast every day. <laughs> don't bully me. And men die. We're at the halfway point here. The party is almost Am over. I have so a to stroke speak. Of what the fuck is happening right now? Because it's a party. I didn't know left. this. Why didn't anyone tell me to bring so that snacks? Said, Jeez. This it's a looks, party. This looks like it's time like to go the, into. Looks like the inside of the house of the, the first like phasmophobia. I mean, quite one. literally, have to crouch down to get into this yeah. a little bit. Nice. All right, buddy boy. You know what's funny? What? I you knew, wanted me. I, I go up here and get a monster munch next to me. I my name is Ryan. What's your name? Can you say my name back to me? I lost it all. Let's get this shit. Why did you do what you did here? I bet they put it there just to make it look You want me to leave? Just leave? Why do you want me to leave? Bitch, get out of there. You do you not like being get talked to house. this way? You know, you got 10 seconds to start speaking, or I'm turning you know, it off. If you're talking to me 10, that type of fucking voice, nine, I would also be like, fuck you too, eight, to be honest. Seven, I just want to rest six, with the murder yet. My family five, murder. Four, get away from me. Three, <laughs> I just want to be two, dead in peace. Get away from one. me. I'm surprised the ghost did not start throwing care. hands with him. I would have just. No, I mean. For fun. If. If what they did mean? say just leave, then just not that saying was a anything. Spiritual would, experience inside there. Was it good in there? Like uh, that would get them to leave if you don't speak. How'd How'd it go? Made Fair sense to me. Is this the end of the fucking real. video? This is them yeah, telling is. just That's leave, the just leave. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Oh, so my god, that sucks so much. Yeah, it was like trying to watch Shane Dawson's videos. <laughs> that is terrifying, Shane oh Dawson, back to the internet, guys. But that no kind of that amount of fear. That, that kind of as a heart. That kind of as a creepy past that Shane. Yes, back. absolutely. No. Yes. Go out, guys. Oh, we're... we're gonna watch a horror movie. Oh no. Yes. Are we gonna show oh, Shane God. Dawson the whole time? You wanna shade him? Oh my god. We're watching a horror movie, guys. Which one we People with 80. People with 80. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's fine. Did you switch to Chrome? No. I'm not streaming this shit. Why is it. <laughs> no, switch to Chrome. Pearl, we can't see anything. I can Wait, what? hear very clearly though. What yeah, we fuck? can't see anything. Yeah, oh, oh god, it's a demon! <laughs> can you see it now? <laughs> oh no. Oh my god! You guys! Oh no. What the fuck? Who puts yeah, red I... text like that? Me. Guys, this is a horror movie enough. Oh my god. I oh god, not the human. Ooh, oh, no. what the fuck? I would rather be murdered. I don't like that sentence. No, Sorry, especially for him. No, I don't miss you. Are they talking about that fucking road that, where, where it's haunted or it. some stuff? Because that road has been tragic, actually. <laughs> Oh yeah, they moved to Colorado. The fuck are you oh, guys shit, doing? Oh shit, my light just oh, died. This girl, really is a haunted the video, video. The video's lagging. Huh? It is very much laggy. Yeah, it's very right. laggy. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? If anything, right. it adds to the experience. <laughs> what is happening right now? Guys, uh, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> having lagging. some technical issues. Oh wait, where'd my pen go? There it is. So guys, we're going over to... We this have is my year. technical issues because I'm trying to plug in my light right now. It's because Shane Dawson's a part of the stream, that's why. Uh, yeah. My Dawson. technical issues is that <laughs> for the entirety, that I've, the entirety that I've been here, I have a dog on top of my chest. I cannot do anything. And the only reason I'm able to speak is because <laughs> my mic is detachable from the stand. If <laughs> only I could be on top of your dog. Aku, don't say what I thought you were going to say. I already said it. JD is talking about the cat controversy. Oh shit. What? Oh no. What's happening? Oh, 
happening on my floor? Who's not watching the stream, Taco? Fuck yeah. off. Exposed. <laughs> I didn't realize it even started. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> laughing at what I got a DM from someone. Oh, yeah, everyone else from my chat who's a banter to everyone else's. Uh, I stopped streaming for now. I Everyone probably... look at Kuro's subscriptions now. Not not Kuro's DMs on Rin's stream. I know. Oh! I knew it! I knew it was gonna happen! I knew it was gonna happen! And I, it on I cut that on stream! <laughs> I should not have said anything. Oh god. That was too good. I didn't realize that's why I was streaming. Which, what do you yeah. think? You're streaming your whole tap. Change to Google Chrome, right? Did you change to Google Chrome? Yeah, I'm on Google. Okay. Why the hell are you subscribed to 5 Minute Crafts? Why are you not subscribed? Why are you yeah. not yeah, why are you not subscribed? To five I don't subscribe to Barry. Explain oh. Five Minute Crafts is live. <laughs> why are they streaming? <laughs> why are guys, they? Right, this There's is probably the... reruns. I okay. we're not watching Five Minute Crafts. No, I am I not every be. fucking content YouTuber. Okay. Is, is this better? What is it? Oh God. It's not better, but it's better for the for the prompt that we're doing, which is horror. <laughs> Oh god damn it. Here oh we no, go. he loves his home. Please stay there. Oh no. god. Because <laughs> he's getting closer and closer to. Oh god. What kind of cartoon villain fucking. I thought we were gonna meet the main villain in the movie. What the fuck? Oh, no. Why is this so dramatic? I know. <laughs> <They're not actually laughs> <playing>. <laughs> Did you learn to play piano for this intro? I knew it. I knew it. Oh, here comes the fake laughing, guys. I knew they weren't actually playing the piano. That was predictable. I learned piano during my break. <laughs> Kidding, I didn't learn anything. No, May- Sir? I don't it's think you should say time. that. Hi. After all the, the clips. I don't know how to do this. I what are you gonna- you gonna- They immediately went back on their own statement. Bruh. Anyways, hi. What are you gonna do, fucking our cat? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Red, you did have another cat, but R.I.P. that oh. Oh. day. Oh, thank you for the raid! Oh. Thank you for the raid. Wait, Ryan, who raided you? Caitlin does stuff. Oh, thanks for raiding, Ryan. <laughs> we're we're, kinda, we're, we're watching Shane Dawson video roasting it right now. Don't worry about him. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, why are we giving him views? It's because it's a horror cat. Bitch, I don't want to give him views. If it makes you feel better, Taco, all of us are watching it on one person's account, so it only counts as one view. I guess that's okay. Link to you. You are in. Sure. Okay, sorry. This is. Oh, wait, why does eight people exist? Why is he ginger? A bastard. What does that offend okay, you? <laughs> Uh, but we'll get to that. Okay, hold on. My I'm just gonna focus on the music. That'll get me through this. No, you will only hear this. I'm there. very oh, tense from the music. The it's act be my fight or flight, to be honest. And I love it, but I've never actually In this context, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't read it, then, like, I can't hear her over the fake laughing of a of a of a the air horn. Dude, I okay, all right, done. Not this house is not for me. Fuck this. Wait, why why is he using PewDiePie's videos in his videos? In this house, we laugh at nothing because we have no comedy. We say I'm sorry. We do. Don't worry, I'll get to that. Um don't Oh, 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 are you gonna say something or are you gonna cry in the corner and say, no. oh yeah? Probably cry. Yeah. I'm so fat and ugly and I'm unbridged, guys. Wait, Ren, you're gonna love this part. Oh god. Oh, no. I'm never gonna love any right, part. Just listen to the. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you into okay. that. You, you oh. If you hate okay. me, well, honestly. I decide no. Okay. Oh. You make mistakes? Uh huh. Yes, we do. Uh huh. We and you think it's so funny. 
<laughs> okay, you, you can hate me. If you hate me, honestly, I feel better that way. Because it's like lowering the bar. Do you know what I mean? What? Sure. What the hell? Because I finally don't really care anymore what other people think about me. Now you do! <laughs> myself. But I don't really like me either, so I'm in a weird place. <laughs> oh, so this is my house. you know, from his break, so he has learned still not to so make how to be fucking comedic yeah, as yeah, always. Ben, he's trying to watch horror, what make horror. Do do? Off of what? Um, oh my god, how so many so fucking like fake laughing on these these I zoom ins I'm gonna hear? Oh, that's so It sounds like a Windex bottle being really aggressively <laughs> squeezed every time he laughs. <laughs> right? <laughs> like. Shane Johnson needs to kill himself. Yes. I'm like, all right, well, let's just get back to that. Um, okay, so Holy fuck. Okay, calm. Holy fuck. Did you guys hear that? What? Shane Dawson is. No, I, I gave my dog the mic. <laughs> and he's like licking it. <laughs> what? I should explain why I'm here. What does that have to do with the fucking horror stuff? Alright, <laughs> let's go back to. That was such a wasted <laughs> 20 minutes. Friend, that whole video was not horror. It's the you horror. You want me to go, like, legitimately back. go find you horror stuff so we can have, like, good content? Oh, oh god. Oh, this one. No. I've heard- I heard about this one. I didn't miss, miss you. you. I didn't miss you. No one That's did. That's the horrific part. Twitter no, said no. Dawson. You want me to give you, like, the genuinely good no. horror shit? Okay. No, no, this is scary enough. I disagree. <laughs> you know what's scary? Bad content. Uh, Low effort content. Because we never allow Chris Curry wants to watch it for some reason. Yeah, no, I was. I was Why do we let Koro control us? <laughs> Why do you think it sounds so ominous? Can we I'm watch five minutes? Has that had to name you? I, I, can I, I'm gonna okay. get bleach after this stream. Can we watch some Hatsune Miku? No. No. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> I think we should actually watch some horror stuff. What about this? Yeah. What the fuck is this? You guys, you keep continuing your bullshit. I'm just gonna go to bed. It's not bullshit. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this is meant to be a horror stream. It's simply Many... not, and I'm upset about it. Police said that after a night of drinking, he wandered to wow, the gay people. Fell into the Hudson They're gone. There are some Good. Good. Which could lead to murder charges. Now we're in horror. Damn. Now, this is interesting. Downtown. The Emmy says he accidentally drowned. The body was found in the Ohio River near Neville Island back in March. Fucking course, it's Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> How do you accidentally drown? You fall into the. Can you not swim? Uh -huh. He's a grown man, bitch. Back why I can't swim. You can't swim. No. I can barely swim. You never I, I can swim enough. I, mean, so, you know, I can swim to the point I, I won't fully drown, but I will drown after a while. Fair, fair, fair. I, I, I'll, I'll only drown after a while because I'm super weak. James said he would be. It was late at this point, and it was another cold night in the city of Pittsburgh. As she Pittsburgh. headed in the direction of North mm -hmm. Pittsburgh, where James North claimed Pittsburgh. to be, Shelley checked his location on her phone. And she was in Pittsburgh. Shut up, Taco. James was actually... <laughs> In South Pittsburgh, what James the fuck? was clearly not Shut up. in the right headspace. <laughs> as he continued to plead with Shelley to find him. He kept saying that he was cold and scared, and that he had mm -hmm. no idea how he even ended up alone, walking in the middle of the street. Shelley would get to his location in ten minutes, only to find James stumbling out of a hotel and heading in the direction of a black SUV. The SUV was facing the wrong way in the wrong lane. As James walked closer to the vehicle, yeah, that's kind of Shelley scary though. Screamed his name. You don't even know where, where the hell you and are, and then you just wake up and you're just like in this random place, basically. Into the night. Like, oh god. <laughs> James was confused, crying, I, and overwhelmed oh, with I, everything. I would that was throw going up on. there. In he the said spot. That he had gone out to the bars at 7:15 p.m. with some co-workers, but remembered nothing after that. Oh, mm -hmm. were clear and oh no, he was blackout drunk. He walked in a straight line 
He had blanked for four hours, but it was clear to Shelley that he was not drunk. Rather, what? it appeared that Dakota James had been drugged. Oh. Oh yeah, no. no. James didn't That's wish to talk about the situation thinking. anymore. Oh no. And the conversation with Shelly was okay, over. Good. <laughs> Five weeks later, Dakota James would disappear after a similar night of bar hopping. Oh God. Oh. It would be forty days before oh, his body was found in the Ohio oh, River. Oh no. In his no. bloodstream was GHB, also known as the date rape drug. His body seemed to be in a good condition. Despite it being found in the water, marks were also what? Oh, that's sadistic as fuck. Mm -hmm. If they yeah, did Jared? not touch the body. No, continue. What the fuck? What do I actually want? I thought it was too wet. Consistent with strangulation. Bestie, Officials there's legit people who cover murder scenes on or... Twitch. So it's only TOS who show like the blood in the body. That's only with oh, TOS. Smiley faces had been graffitied onto that very bridge. Oh hell no! It's clear why this conclusion rubbed many the wrong way. From the drugs in his system to the previous story told by Shelley, things definitely seemed sketchy. But as it turns out, there was even more evidence to suggest that an accidental drowning could not have been. A mosquito possible. just scared For the starters, absolute shit out of me. The transaction was made on his credit card. That was supposedly found on his body. Damn, someone the stole, stole his credit card too. After he had disappeared, Bro. supposedly fallen no. into the water. Also, as I mentioned before, his body was in pristine condition, which would not have been possible if he had really been in the water for forty days. Yeah, it would be bloated and damaged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a clear-cut murder. And many view this as a rare mistake by officials, but the truth is that this case is similar to hundreds of others. All what? across the United States, in way? cases that appear to be clear-cut murders have been dismissed and blamed on accidental drowning. Okay, pause. Pause. Two retired New York detectives by the name pause. of Kevin Gannon pause the video. and Anthony Duarte. <laughs> yeah. Imagine just fucking waking up and then hearing, oh yeah, there's been like drowning and stuff, but... It's so fucking similar to all the- oh, that is, that is too much. I think the weirdest yeah. part of this is that the bodies are not even, like, harmed to make it literally get to drowning. Like, it's not bloated or, like, no. struggle. No. I like how we're talking, like, we know about this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I used to watch crime documentaries. True. I, so I it's, it's very easy tell. to- to overlook those kind of things sometimes. But continue. A fact someone accidentally drowned. Ren, Ren, Ren. Uh -huh. What? The, pre the prettiest skull I know just invited me to watch anime with her. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I could go and watch your anime. Go on your anime day. Not right now, dude. In many of these questionable cases, the victims are almost always males, they are always white, Ooh. they're college-aged, athletic, intelligent, and popular. They disappear from bars or parties. That feels like and a typically the victim acts murders. drunk despite only having a few drinks or none at all. Many show evidence of drugging, with at least 30 testing positive for GHB. All hell? were found dead in a body of water. Days, yeah. weeks, or months later, that, that's most had injuries that murder. were not consistent with drowning, like and their bodies were found in conditions unnatural for drowning victims. Oh, wait, these are Quakers. And all were found with graffiti smiley faces yeah. at the location that they would have entered the water or where their body was found. <laughs> Detective Kevin Gannon first recognized this trend in 1997, when on April 7th, 21-year-old Patrick McNeil was oh found God, off Google of a pier <laughs> in the Bay Ridge section of Brooklyn, New York. Marks were found on his neck, along with charring on his hands and torso. His body position in the water was labeled as being unnatural for a typical drowning. Weeks before, McNeil was seen leaving a bar appearing to be heavily intoxicated. As he began to walk out of view of the bar, some patrons noticed a car driving slowly behind him. Oh. But no one paid it too much attention. No! Despite the obvious signs of foul play, this case was quickly labeled as yet another accidental drowning no. spurred by excessive uh, no. drinking. 
And since this case, it's estimated that potentially 300 other cases like this have been reported across the United States, Holy which shows shit. just how severe sorry, this disturbing what? trend is. 300 cases. cases have appeared in over 25 separate cities, what mainly the on the fuck? East Coast, and they typically appear in clusters in a close period of time. Is this but a what cult? does all this actually mean? How could such a Probably, wide range of deaths be, be occurring in such similar circumstances? Oh, no. And if these college students aren't actually dying due to drowning, then what is killing them? These are too planned out, theory. to be honest. Yeah. As mentioned before, Kevin Especially Gannon the types was the one who going recognized after. this trend. And he's also the one who proposed this theory. Gannon believes that these victims were being I'm gonna go now. And they would go out okay, and visit a bar or stop at bye. a party. Bye, they would then leave the bar drugged, unaware of what was going on. Which to onlookers, the victims would likely just appear intoxicated. So it really wouldn't raise many red flags. Once outside of the no, bar, that's, they would then be that's the worst abducted, part of that. You know, be thrown into you a You know, car, before we all end streams and stuff, uh -huh. of time, uh -huh. do you guys want to watch a normal video to count? <laughs> killed and dumped into sure, a nearby yes. body of water. Jesus Christ, but one serial man. killer being responsible for so many potential murders seems nearly impossible. So Gannon suggests that potentially this is a group of serial killers. Mm -hmm. A lot Damn. of these deaths occur in major cities, and it is believed that groups 300 of these killers people have cells murdered. in all these cities. Oh Having such a spread out and vast organization would make it much easier for these murderers to get away with their crimes, because they can spread out the murders and make it seem Do natural Do you know how many years of planning this would have to be? In multiple jurisdictions Makes oh, it yeah. extremely difficult because they would have they had the first stock really the person to know what the, the target also, first the fact of all that smiley face graffiti has been found at nearly all of these crime scenes is another point that gannon states favors his theory it is believed that these smiley faces are the mark of the killers and it is potentially done so that the organization can mark their crime scenes this is a common mm. trait among serial killers. So the idea that this graffiti is being used as kind of a tag for their murders seems somewhat likely. And truthfully, looking at this theory as a whole, it does seem somewhat possible. But if this is Ew. truly the case, then why haven't the police caught on yet? This could be for a few reasons. Either they are fully convinced that there is nothing going on here, See, or um... they're covering something up. And truthfully, it would make a lot of sense for them to want to keep this on the down low. If police had admitted that a large group of murderers had been killing people for this many years, yeah, it whatever. would be a very bad look for them. I okay. mean, admitting that this group is out there or even entertaining... There's, there's, a, there's a series called In the First 48 Hours, right? Mm -hmm. So when someone goes missing, if they cannot find them in the first 48 hours, they will actually like, close the case sometimes. Mm -hmm. Multiple times they'll close the case and then put it aside. So mm -hmm. it's like, so I feel like that's how, like, they can't, like, find the boys because it's all too spread out, but it's also, like, it's a bunch of colleges and mm -hmm. these murderers have, like, sat there and planned for, like, years and years to, like, stalk these college students. Because they, I don't think they just go out and see a popular random dude and just fucking murder him. That After seems. Those... That seems Wait, too much. Wait, why are his other college students? What doing the killings? Yeah, that would make more sense since they're spread out between cities. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I remember because. It is. A, it looks like a here? cult too. How else would they know they're popular as well? <laughs> yeah. True. 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 Goodbye. When you know, like some early. This is more whatever. interesting. The dishwasher story. <laughs> <laughs> the dishwasher story. Do you want to go back to that one after this? The dishwasher story. Yes. So we can actually find a way. How the fuck he sold his soul for a dishwasher? You know what? Let's just keep that a mystery. I don't really want. To... You don't want to know. <laughs> no. But you think you make the, the dishwasher's wife? We practically equate to them admitting. <laughs> That they got hundreds of cases wrong. Oh, that's why it'd be used. Jesus. In the past. And along with this, if officials began to investigate these alleged murders now, a panic would surely ensue as people would begin to believe that serial killers are executing people 
all across the United States. I mean, of course so I would. there is a logical reason why the police and other authorities would not even want to entertain this theory. Now, to date, one of the biggest flaws with the smiley face murder theory is motive. Every murder has a motive, but in a case like this, the murderers seem motiveless. Why would a group of killers target white college students and kill them in such a particular way? I it has been, been theorized that be these were envy killings mm -hmm. because the victims were smart and athletic and by many accounts popular. But to know a victim is popular, you would really have to live in the area and be familiar with its social structure, mm -hmm. which honestly seems unlikely in this case. So that would mean that they would be what? killing these victims simply because they are athletic and smart, which really doesn't make any sense. The clear lack of I mean, motive jealousy, has forever been something it. that has hindered yeah. this case. That's but a chilling most thought do. remains. Maybe these killers don't need a motive. And maybe they just want to kill for the sport of it. I mean, who knows what the culture would be, be like within joke, an organization like, like this. But you would clearly have to really mm -hmm. enjoy mm -hmm. murdering people to be a part of it. So maybe they I'm really not are like just that, going out there which is scary. And killing people <laughs> About for fun. cults, they Another just do it because it's fun. has always been the smiley face graffiti itself. Smiley faces are typically one of the most common forms of graffiti, and they are almost always present wherever graffiti is. Also, there was never any rules for how close the smiley face has to be to the spot that the victim was found. Because of this, Gannon could have found a smiley face a good distance what away from the crime scene and just claim that what? it was connected, despite the fact that it really had nothing to do with it. There's just too much gray Did area the here for them what? to manipulate the facts. The that's, idea of so every hacking a crime scene stand. with a smiley face is one of the reasons <laughs> that this whole situation. And no, it's actually a dream. That's what the mask is. That's what the point of the mask Shut is. the fuck up. This whole the case bullshit. has become so popular. I mean, it's really creepy and just adds a whole level of intrigue to this case. But ironically, this is also one of the very factors that is holding this all back. Because smiley faces aside, from an outside perspective, it seems very clear that at least some of these deaths truly were murders. It seems whoever has been behind some of these cases mm -hmm. may have actually found a way to get away with murder. Yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Jake to sing We The Sus remix songs in my chat now. We should have never done this. <laughs> no. Do you want to watch another one of these from Nick Crowley? Oh boy. Right, what do you want? Dark YouTube? I thought we were going to watch yeah. Cookie Pasta. <laughs> Me too. Right. I thought that was the plan. Oh, we should we should look at the old Cookie Pastas. I actually haven't seen all of them. because Have not you seen culture. the one about the Wii one? No. What's it called? Uh, we something. Hold on. We the sus music. Uh, <laughs> we we delete you. That's what it's called. Yeah, the the first one. This one. Yeah, it's animated. Man, how many? It's three hours long. Oh shit! No. It is. Holy fuck. That's a compilation, I think. No, it's delete. It's it's the whole entire series of the stories. Yeah, that. So it isn't a comp. <sighs> Whatever. You All right. This is. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Sorry. Oh god, I've never heard the smiley one actually. Did no, you know what's Mister Creepy Pasta? What it is. Oh yeah, for anyone who's joining in stream, this is spooky shit. Yeah, I can't watch this video because it gives me. Yeah. It gives you what? You've heard of Smile Dog, right? JK apparently loves that this terrifying one. picture <laughs> of a husky smiling in, in a demonic way. Yeah, demonic that... husky. I'm no, sorry. I, I should have been living so hard. Scary stories a few months ago. I'm sorry. I stumbled across an urban legend video which I found interesting. I watched the video and it told of a few basic facts about spontaneous human combustion and sleep paralysis. The video also contained a couple of screamers to kill the mood a little. The end story was of Smile Dog. 
It simply presented I'm the picture on this and told the viewer the legend. This. Okay. I researched it a bit more and found it to be terrifying, but quite cool. I began talking about it to my friends in school the next day. It turned out something of a common interest. People would often use it jokingly, like in a history lesson our teacher told us. You know, honestly, he collapsed I'm on not the floor. really that scared by the smile My friend dog. leaned towards me the and said, picture. I guess he saw smile dog. Either. And it would often make us laugh. We then found other stories such as Red Mist or Squidward's Suicide. Why is this? Why does slowly change it? The watch smile image. dog for a while after that. In our school, we often yeah, talked to this Yeah, what boy. I was supposed to put? Nothing. And uh, his name was Michael. He was a strange child. He never spoke to us, and Katie hates he would often pictures. keep to himself. You hate the smiling no. dog, JK? No. At lunchtime. No. He wouldn't be hanging oh. out with us. Yeah, to change. We found it yeah. not to be of our yeah. concern. Yeah. He'd often oh, leave lessons early to visit a hospital as he yeah. was a rather sickly child. Basic bitch. He told me only a few of his afflictions. Oh, what is the most noticeable being <laughs> It looks so weird when it's merging together. He never showed signs of these, though. Is it if he mentioned them, he would it's often laugh it off and dismiss key. them. It's shifting to the other picture, slowly and surely. And inquired oh. about Smile. They got their own haircut. No, no. I replied, no. <laughs> oh, that thing? Yeah, it's obviously fake. Can I see it? I, I, I didn't save it or anything. But oh, just look it up, okay? Ooh, I was busy with homework at the time, and damn, why are you gonna brush to your foot up like that? Damn, rather irritable. He walked off without looking back. Bitch, I was sloppy. But I didn't Fuck see Michael the next day. He was supposed to be in a few of our lessons, but he wasn't there. R.I.P. Not kid. Nobody. <laughs> not even the teachers knew where he was. I'm starting to get a headache, which doesn't normally happen. It was after our first lesson. I was called into the headmaster's office. <laughs> the headmaster sat me down in front of his desk and told me, This is weird. Your friend Michael has been That's instated to a mental institution. What the fuck? He apparently saw something scary. And he kept having visions oh, of oh, it. He saw something scary. Have you any idea what that might be? It looks like a demented Shiba Inu. It is a demented Shiba Inu fairy. It's I immediately a, remembered less, Smile Dog. like a husky. Uh, I don't yeah, like that yeah, it's sir. quiet. I don't like that it's quiet. It is getting worse The headmaster immediately like brought up his quiet. computer. Huh? Oh, the music I don't like that I was faced with the Google search engine. It's trying to get the creatures I changed the search to images and typed in Smile Dog. Yeah, and it's working! I showed I'm the headmaster good. the full, unedited image of Smile Dog. play fucking out last. <laughs> Specifically because I hate silence. Oh my. Oh said. my, that's all you have to say. No. Oh my, oh dear. Oh my. <laughs> he immediately arranged for transport for me to the mental institute. What I the entered the fuck? colossal building with the headmaster, where we were stopped by a doctor. What the hell? He said, Is that a Michael hand? Wants his friend. Is that who? Friend. A hand in the background. The headmaster gave no, me the a snail catching up to. And I said, That's fine. Uh, I'll see so you in what? a few minutes. The snails finally catch up. I down a large, ball. intimidating corridor. And reached mm -hmm. room 204. It's a tech talk reference. The room oh, had a padded floor, okay. a wall, and a I light. Okay. No windows except a minuscule viewing slot. Why are you allowed in your fucking door. friend's mental hospital room? I walked in. If you're a teenager. <laughs> I say I don't love you. And almost vomited. What happened, bestie? Michael was lying face down in the middle of the room with his mm -hmm. hands you know what still gripped tight on his neck. It Wait, if he's choking that himself, call. Was... Oh. <laughs> there was a hastily scrawled note left next to him. Michael's dead. Oh, Michael just. Yeah, oh, he, nice. he had his, his hands around Josh. his neck and he died. I saw that smile dog picture that you showed me. Um, what the fuck? It's everywhere. What? No matter what we do, it can't be stopped. What? It appears in the brightest moments of your life. Okay. It'll always be marching, never moving. What the fuck? It will not always go away. Watching. Why did they have to put me in this room? What the hell? Why do I have to be trapped in this godforsaken room? I had no escape. No matter how much I kicked off, the doctors wouldn't believe me. Okay. This is giving me friends, of us. What if the dogs Honestly, still yeah. there during death? Except what the pills? When you're weak and the dissociation. The... Drag you down to hell from where it once came. This is the reality, Josh. Do not ever mention Smile Dog. The music to anyone, too. Ever again. So the prince was gonna die now? 
sincerely. Oh boy. The prince is gonna die now, I guess. I pocketed the note. And what do you mean you pocket the, the note? Upon further inspection of his body, his hand Call was blocking a nurse? A Call a nurse? Yeah, yeah hello. Hello? <laughs> The teeth marks match that of a dog's. Oh, he got bitten. Cool. A Siberian yeah. husky. Yeah. How could how could you determine that? I have no idea. I keep idea. going over and over that note in my head. I mean, it depends on how he was I can't bitten. It. He was such a nice yeah. boy, and I regret every bad thing I ever said to him. Yeah, you're a kind of asshole. <laughs> Why did it have to end this way for him? <laughs> Well, not your fault, but your side. There's a small part in my head saying that I'm responsible, and another portion of my head believes that this is all just fake, and I should have been more okay, aware but of my afflictions. But you're kind of responsible, my dude. The only trouble is, I'm running out of options to believe here. Oh. And I, I didn't know yeah, that schizophrenia too, was contagious. Uh, yeah. But I, I keep seeing that damn little dog in the corner of my eye everywhere I go. It's kind of hard to see. It's starting to get it's on my very nerves. Dark. Wait a minute. Is that? There's a howl. No. There's gonna be a bite sound. Oh, yep. shit. There's another I hear howl. panting and scratching on my door. I'm. Don't You're next. Open it. <laughs> Let me go investigate. Yeah. I'll be back You're in You're fucking next, bitch. I'll be back in a, in a second. Guys, you won't be back. What do you mean you'll be back? Don't S open the Spread door. The, word. Oh. Oh. the fuck? <laughs> Why do you want to go in to open the door then? <laughs> I said furry when I'm wearing cat ears. <laughs> I mean, to be yeah. honest. I hate this man. I hate, I hate that dog so much. What is the oh, other God, no. one? Uh. What a creepypasta. Creepypasta TikTok. Oh dear god, no. The no. thing is, I already see things out of the corner- or I always think that I see things out of the corner of my eye, so that really did not help me, did it? Oh, this one! Yeah. What? Does someone have has a like, draw my life as TikTok? Oh. I mm -hmm. think I've seen that. I never heard the full story, but I just seen his face or something. I know I've seen and heard the full story, I just don't remember any of it. Are you- what the heck are you doing? <laughs> Which one do you guys want to watch? Why not the draw my life? No! Alright. Oh god damn it! <laughs> oh, wait! What if, what, if, what if it gets us- Fuck, Barry. What hey guys, the... welcome to draw my story. And today we're drawing the story of a very famous creepypasta <laughs> legend, Tichi Toby. Is he using That's Expo right. markers to draw this? The violent this? and dangerous serial killer yes, who was once a normal marker. teenage boy. That's interesting. By appearance, Toby That's looks interesting. pale, almost gray skin. <laughs> he has messy, Stupid dark brown info. hair and brown eyes with dark crescent circles surrounding them. The side of his mouth has been slit open, which makes his teeth and gums be seen. Ew. He wears a pair oh, no, of sweater with gray brown man. striped sleeves, with a black sweater underneath. He also wears jeans, a pair of gloves, apple bottom jeans, guard, boots with the fur, the fur. I'm sorry. <laughs> he always carries with him. He also wears a weapons holder. But before becoming a vicious serial killer, Toby was a very simple boy. Want to know how he turned out to be a killer? Sure. Then let's watch this video. Sorry, Toby's sure real name is Tobias Aaron Rogers. He was I a normal a teenage boy once. Nice, nice but he drawing. Grew up with many different mental disorders, which made it hard for uh -huh. him to fit in the normal crowd. He had a disease that attacks his nervous Wait, system, this is Michael Myers causing music, him to be it? completely yes. numb to pain. Oh, cool. And he also had an extreme case of Tourette's syndrome, yeah, it's Michael Myers. which causes Toby to make oh. uncontrollable I did not attacks. Notice that. He was constantly teased and bullied by his classmates for his tics. The environment became so toxic in the public school that he had to switch to homeschool. Sounds like so society. he grew up with little to almost A no friends. Toby received so much support Shut from his mother and older sister. Shut the up, the ball for you. But his father had a negative <laughs> influence on him. 
He was completely lost in alcohol, drugs, and gambling. Oh, oh damn! Abusive towards his family, especially Toby. When Toby was 17 what years old, father he and his year. sister Lyra got into a tragic car accident. Why did I just get a text and Toby from lost Google. his sister. After it's that, time Toby to pack your soul, Barry. His <laughs> symptoms started Barry. worsening. He was barely. Did, did you order a free dishwasher? He yeah. locked himself <laughs> in the bedroom and was growing less and less social oh, shit. day by day. No, but I did mess up my he art slowly again. began losing his memories as well. He also hallucinated his oh. sister's twisted and mutilated body oh. and saw a tall, okay, strange well. figure standing outside of his bedroom window. At okay, night. that's, oh, that's, that's nice, Bestie. Who was that's nice. His mother got worried about Toby and brought him to a psychiatrist to help him cope with his post-traumatic stress disorder, but it didn't work. Toby soon started losing all his control, and one night he attacked and killed his father. Oh. Then he took two of the hatchets from his father's garage, Wasn't that a, good a thing, box though? of matches, and a gallon of gasoline. It oh, isn't telling the whole story. Later that night, he set his neighborhood house in fire oh. in an attempt to escape from I the I mean, police. it is the draw of my life. But he himself got surrounded by the flames. Oh. And as he was about to give in to his own death, Slender Man appeared what and the saved fuck? him before he blacked out. Hey, when bestie. Toby woke up, he couldn't recollect anything. This is All of his memories right of his previous this life. This really is. <laughs> Two weeks later, Toby's mother heard a news story about the murders of several teenagers. The main suspect I wonder was who Toby, did it. as one of his hatchets was found oh, in the crime scene by the police. And since I'm that day, Toby hands. officially became a proxy of Slender Man. Ooh, I'm a beta bitch's Toby's ass personality with is very strange. Ears on. He could be very sarcastic at times and would even sometimes lose control of his own emotions due to his bipolar disorder. Oh. For example, cool. he could change from being very emotional to very angry Fun. or happy in an instant, making it very difficult to talk to him at times. I can hear TikTok all the way from this, here. He is very friendly to a few people. Oh my god, the sun in the window. Hey, bestie! But gradually, hey, bestie. when he started becoming older, his personality changed to a jealous, sarcastic god. jerk. Aww. He only thinks about himself. Aww. But even then, he's neither caring nor mean to people. Aww. It's just that he doesn't know how to play nice and give compliments to others. Toby is also oh, very I'm kidding. And he doesn't remember anything about <laughs> his past. As per Toby, his past never a happened. And, you said and he chooses not to question. Wait. Toby Wait, has a dark Ren, who wears a mask and glasses like Barry? Funny. Damn, Barry, I didn't no, notice your main character Toby's story. Exceptionally well oh, no. Speed, stealth, we just found, we found Tiki Toby's real. He also real. is incapable of feeling any kind of pain, oh, God. which allows him to still be able to think clearly and continue to move, despite the number of injuries. Barry, do you want to tell us something? And as he lived and spent most of his time in the woods and other harsh environments, I did not know that I would find another person that looked like me. Toby's been very skilled in sneaking up behind campers, hikers, and murdering them without even being caught. Bro, uh, what and then why? Is the why does this always happen? Serial killer. And then hey, you a story, hikers. guys, about <laughs> Chi-Chi Toby. Oh, Comment no. and let me know how you like you it. Think I would and go please to subscribe to my channel, go. guys, if you want to see more Draw My though, Story videos like this one. You know, God. that was kind of good. <laughs> it God. wasn't that bad. I'm not jealous yeah, of hikers. That's actually kind of entertaining, actually. You think I would go hiking just to kill a hiker? <laughs> no. Let's watch the the eyeless Jack one. There's eyeless. Oh, I I Look up. Scroll up. <laughs> Girl, what? <laughs> Girl's brain go burr. After this, can I put on movie? Hey guys, oh, wait, after this, can I put on movie clip on? And today we're drawing the story of one of the scariest. No. The cat, the, the cat one. No. Why no. Why not? That's oh, copyrighted. Yeah, I can't play it. Exactly. Also, is a fuck your movie clips. A stalker who breaks into we want your oh, outfit. Yes. Fun. Just yes. Kill Dr. And steal their internal organs. Huh? Eyeless Jack fun, is just usually like Dr. described Alfred. as a masculine, no. humanoid figure dressed in an all-black hoodie all and dark jeans. He wears an expressionless cool blue play. mask with no nose. Why does he bury? It said that Why does some he kind of black liquid There's all over the place. keeps dripping from his eye sockets behind his blue mask. Want to know more about this mysterious serial killer? Did I tell you I read a fanfic video? about Eilish Jack X, X Jeff the Killer? Difficult to understand I'm not interpret. surprised. It was funny. I kept laughing at it. 
cruel and taunting <laughs> individual. I was bored. Who has a craving for human organs. Eyeless Jack is infamous for being able to successfully remove his victim's kidney while they're asleep say, where did the kidney and sew up the wound <laughs> flawlessly. I have a friend that Clyde was three such cases three occurred when a man named um, Mitch moves in with his brother at so his mom's house was foreclosed. I didn't think a it was possible. Later, it was Mitch makes up with a large cut oh, on his cheek. Oh, okay. After going to the hospital, the doctor reveals just that Mitch's left kidney yeah. has been surgically removed overnight. Oh, I just had to and around midnight it. that day, Mitch wakes up to see I never Jack over his bed, ran, did I ever, wearing a blue mask ran, I think you know black liquid, has dripping from his yes, empty eye sockets behind the mask. Mitch took a picture of Jack in his camera before Why he attacked, I say your humor's broken. clawing at his rock. chest. Oh, Mitch, no. Man, imagine waking up and be like, hello, sir. Why are my kidneys gone? <laughs> when he awakened, uh, Excuse me, where are my kidneys? Edwin had Your been killed the night. Shut up. The house to collect his belongings where he found a small object near Edwin's corpse. Shut up. When Mitch observed closely, I will eat your kitty fairy. It was Shut his the kidney fuck up. with a bite taken out of it. It wouldn't taste and covered very in a good. black substance. Is that well, after knowing this incident, itty, there's no petty, doubt itty, now itch. that Eyeless Jack is a man-eating, enigmatic who has a craving for <laughs> yeah. human organs. But he wasn't like this before. Mm -hmm. In fact, he was completely opposite. What the fuck? Eyeless Jack's real name is Jack Nichols. Who I'm is a just chef. Like any other Jack Nichols. Jack Benefold? I'm kidding. <laughs> his only real <laughs> friend was his peer and roommate, Jack. <laughs> but when he met a girl named Jenny, Everything changed. Jenny was a part of a cult who were worshipping a demon cult? named Chernabog. How would you join? Jack was sacrificed cult. involuntarily what? before Chernabog. Oh shit. <laughs> Jenny and her cult members poured a hot, tar like substance into his eyes. Ooh. Thus oh, killing him in the process. About this from a Jack's story body that was soon possessed, and after that, <laughs> In a fit of what? rage, he killed Jenny and her cult members. I was bored one day, so I wanted to judge kidneys. cringe gotcha stories. Human organs were, were his new craving now. Oh, so I was like, it's so, so bad, Barry. And was I don't even have to know. I don't even look at you. No, it's so bad. Then, the terror of Eyeless Jack some... started. Some people also claim that Eyeless Jack is a demonic entity from another world who feeds on human organs in order to survive. But I mean, regardless, do you best Jack's that you organs will in this probably world. still be a mystery. Now, coming to his power oh, and abilities, Damn, he has no money on groceries, then. Eyeless Jack is incredibly stealthy and seems to That's possess some degree of anatomical pack. knowledge. Yes. And has a thorough <laughs> understanding of the human body. Just spending too much money on food? He also knows how to use these surgical kidney. instruments <laughs> and removing vital organs of the human body. This proves that he's a very intelligent Try our being. new product. The villain the is so covered like in her. mystery that his gender is also unknown. Have you tried our kidney pie recently? he's always seen as a male. <laughs> Eyeless Jack is considered to be one of the most popular mainstream creepypasta characters. I mean, yeah, cold. And that was today's Eyeless. story, guys. Basic. Eyeless Jack. Oh, basic. Comment okay. and let Shit. me know how'd you like it. Who's Jeff the killer? And please um, Did you really just say that? Fuck, what, what, uh... There's I I remember like reading the ones oh my god <laughs> it's he one of looks those so where you ugly just can't seem to enter that final stage of sleep where deep sleep embraces you you turn over and sleep. over drifting in and out of consciousness I having strange embracing. nightmarish I thoughts during your micro sleep the day was oppressively <laughs> hot and humid so you left the window <laughs> cracked to get a breeze and I am trying to be spook <laughs> shut the fuck up guys like lungs filling with air it's kind of relaxing Fair. to watch until you see something. Were those eyes peeping through the curtains? Your heart begins to race. Is this oh, the creep you heard rumors about? Right the deranged <laughs> serial killer known as Jeff the Killer that's still <laughs> on the loose? No, you must have been dreaming. You rub your eyes and take Sorry, another Barry, look. That was Squinting me. through the dark, you see a oh, ghoulish, fact, monstrous face looking straight at you as he slowly pulls months. himself through your opened window. In the morning, your bed will be what empty. The In the weeks to come, you'll be just another statistic, another no missing storms, kid. By the way. One of no thousands of young bitch, what folks is that, that crying in the USA each year. In Wait, time, let's, just, will give up. let's just go back to what Barry just said. What? She just said she had her, her power went out five times and no storm caused it. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I don't oh, oh. It's probably I'm I'm forcing myself to believe it's that probably it's probably because it's been cold out, outside recently, so that might be causing it. Not where I am. 
Honestly, good luck with the squirrel turning off your power. Uh, fine. Just blame the squirrels. It's fine. They they probably just squirrels. think streams are entertaining. Squirrels. <laughs> just blame the squirrels. Good luck with the squirrels. Squirrels. Squirrel. Oh, that reminds Hope me of a story where I saw again. a dead You've squirrel become one of the 115 children that the year fuck, whose disappearance man. has been officially recorded as stranger abduction. Disturbing. It's true that every year scores of young people just vanish into thin air. Because Sometimes they go out and don't come Shane home. Dawson's Sometimes around. they're at the shopping mall with their parents and just disappear, never to be seen again. Sometimes because, they're snatched uh... from their beds during the night. There oh. are real life boogeymen out there. Maniacs on the loose, skulking around quiet uh -huh. neighborhoods. So, who is Jeff the killer? Is he responsible for those unexplained abductions? Is he even real? Moving to a new place in your teens isn't much fun at all. You make friends, and then you have to abandon them. But for Jeff and his brother Lou, the move wasn't so difficult to accept. The new house how was fancy, they, to how say they the fuck least. With people, and the neighborhood not didn't look too bad either. Story. No sooner than Jeff, Lou, and their parents got their new house in order, the oh, nosy no, neighbors no. came around to say hello oh, and check out who okay, they've been loving or hating in the next year or so. To break the ice, one of the neighbors invited the family to a birthday party. Oh, the God. neighbor Barbara explained that her son Billy was about to have a birthday party. Jeff's mom Margaret said her husband Peter, as well as the kids, would love to go. At this it's point, going Jeff so and fucking Lou were fast, in the actually. <laughs> Both of them feeling kind of peeved we that their parents had this. agreed on their behalf Jesus. to go to the party of some kid they didn't even know. Young Jeff had always had a problem with authority, and he was quick to tell his mom that she shouldn't do stuff like that. He stormed off in a huff, retreating to his bedroom where he threw himself down on his bed and skulked. In that moment of teenage angst, he felt teenage angst. Strange inside teenage him, angst. like his very own pair of anguish, an acute pain in his stomach. He felt hypnotized by his own anger. How dare she do that, he thought. He then came out of his enraged trance, not this really is not knowing how the story over. goes the same at thing all. happened again the next morning as he was hastily eating a bowl of multigrain peanut butter Cheerios. <laughs> with something in his what? Stomach. This time, a that was high Pacific for like no reason. Of rage again. He didn't know if he liked it or not. Maybe it was just moving This is stress, not the reason why he murders at all. Kids. Some of them were found to be oh, jerks, wait, that was for sure. He realized he was gripping Jesus. his spoon so hard his hey, knuckles were white. He was trembling I'm with anger. My but Jeff's drawing. anxieties were justified that morning at the Are school bus stop. Are you streaming that as well? Some wise-ass just... yeah, kid did an ollie on a skateboard right over Jeff right Lou's legs. Had he messed that up, he could have snapped uh, one of their legs like a twig. Jeff didn't know it then, but this was the beginning of an end. The skateboarder was soon joined by two other kids, and in true Stephen King fashion, there was one cool kid, the skateboarder, whose name was Randy. A nerd At all. Kid named Keith, and an obese kid he did not have Troy. anger issues. These kids I'm would become sure Jeff's mortal my enemies. Check. His bête noire. In literal French, that means black beasts. Well, look what's what? been dragged into the neighborhood, said Aww. Randy. A couple of new freaks to kick around for a while. The fat kid guffawed, and the skinny-looking nerdy kid just stood there motionless. Randy explained to Jeff and Lou that as so new kids on the right block, now. there was a tax to pay, calling it a bus fare, and intimidatingly, he got right up in Lou's face. Lou stood his ground, pushing Randy back, but in a moment of outlandish anger, the fat kid whipped uh. out a knife. Randy turned to his two bootlicker friends and said, Well, it looks what? like these two kids are going to have to learn the hard way. What the Bad fuck is happening in the story? Right in front of Lou's face and proceeded to rifle through Lou's pockets. It just sounds like something that would have happened right next to my school. They All made the it, like, was thinking really how extra it was for the for story. Three kids in a wealthy and quiet suburban American neighborhood to mug him and his brother on their for way to school. Reasons. Jeff just sat there boiling. Raging on the verge of exploding, I think this is that their devilish feeling again filled his I mean, guts. Oh. Yeah. He felt possessed with anger, and he finally stood up and growled this at Randy. Is not you give that wallet back to him, bro. <laughs> I'll knock the teeth right out of your freaking head. Jeff was seething, and before Randy could respond physically or come up with a smart retort, he punched Randy square in the nose, shattering it like porcelain. No, I've never seen Jeff do that before, ridden, but he was even uh, more surprised when his younger brother grabbed Randy's finger and snapped it. Jeff years. took Randy's knife, but soon skinny Keith and portly Troy were on his back. Lightweight what Keith took a stabbing for the team story. and went down like a sack of bricks. Jeff pushed Troy off him and hit him so hard in the stomach that Troy <laughs> threw up as he crawled on the floor. The scene was a massacre. Sure. Who had never seen anything like that before from his brother. Man, bro, what the hell's gotten into you? The two ran to school rather than get the bus. Jeff looked okay. behind him and he could see people on the street attending to the wounded kids. Did he feel remorse that day as he sat in his class Probably listening not. to a teacher talk about no. verb conjugation? <laughs> not no, really. He felt the opposite. He felt alive. He felt the violence in his very marrow. He loved violence. Mother, I crave this was a violence. new discovery for him. Part two, Jeff the Maniac. Jeff got home that evening and his mom asked oh him how God, school was. Oh my God, this story is just so replied, weird. Awesome. 
as the sweet memory I of the beating and the right smell now. of someone else's this blood isn't... filled his senses. But this is like a headcanon of what exactly they think why the he went crazy, to be honest. The justice system calls yeah. a serious assault, not to mention using a deadly weapon on a child. The cops turned up at Jeff's house and explained that their son's outstanding wrath had caused I mean, yeah, he did beat them up. Three kids that lived in the neighborhood. But, and the Jeff, police did come over to his house. explained to the cops and his distraught parents that he'd been the victim of the violence, and he had only retaliated in a comparable fashion. Comparable, said one of the cops. I got two kids in the hospital with stab wounds, and another kid that looks like he's been kicked in the stomach by a racehorse. Jeff had to try really hard not to smile. He bit his lip. What could he do, though? The game was up. There were witnesses. <laughs> he did there the was TikTok meme. Evidence. Okay, Jeff said. It was no. Me, but I was only sticking up for my bro. Those guys pulled out the knife first. I just finished it. Jeff the was fact already he's trying to think of not smiling he is kind of psychotic, to be honest. When his brother Lou <laughs> I mean, came yeah. rushing down the stairs with the, the knife the, in his hands, Lou said, It was me. Don't arrest my brother. Lou put down the knife yes, and the Barry. cops cuffed him. All the while, Jeff, Jeff was telling him that Lou was lying, that it was he who was at fault for the bus stop carnage. As his brother was taken away in the cop car, Jeff sat in the driveway weeping. What had he done? Mm -hmm. For days, mm -hmm. Jeff stayed in his bed with the curtains closed. Yes, he couldn't go to school. He couldn't even sleep. He just <laughs> lay in bed, depressed, focus. feeling as if darkness had chosen him, abused him, uh, manipulated him. After a few days, something unbelievable happened. His mom waltzed into his bedroom as if nothing had happened, as if she hadn't just lost a son to a brutal penal system, possibly for many years. She what? just whipped back the curtains and jovially exclaimed to Jeff, okay. Guess what day it is? What the? Thought Jeff. Has this woman lost her mind? It's party day, said his mom. Oh. You remember before yep. all that nonsense Ew. with the knives, oh, we were invited to Billy's birthday party. <laughs> Jeff was maybe, rather maybe displeased with his mom's yeah. patent lack of empathy. Come on, Jeff, she said. So your brother's gone for a while. Don't let that spoil an otherwise beautiful <laughs> Damn son. Damn yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful son. Let's go have some fun. What? For some reason, Jeff didn't like being called beautiful. He noticed she'd really gone overboard with her clothes. She was dressed to impress, and this bugged him even more. When the family arrived at Barbara's house, Jeff noticed that all the adults were wearing fancy clothes. All of them. It seemed For they were trying to impress kids, each other. Some of party? them were noticeably drunk you already, fucking talking losers. loudly about their many accomplishments They're trying to have wonderful, an affair with talented their children they'd <laughs> to the world. Go on in the yard and play with the other kids, Jeff's mom said. This would prove to be foolhardy, given Jeff's track record so far with kids in the neighborhood. And then it happened, just as Jeff was starting to get along with the children. Randy, Keith, and Troy appeared, still looking a bit beaten up, but no doubt ready for another round with the new kid. Randy said, you didn't think this was done, did you? It ain't done by a long way. Looking Again, like Jeff those was Simpsons bully teenage movies. Y'all got what ensued stabbed was a one on one with Randy and Jeff. Why Jeff are you coming Randy back? They want to die, obviously. Another time, and blood splattered obviously. on the faces of the younger There's kids, no other reason. sending them running around the garden in hysterics. A small kid froze, and as a teddy bear dropped from his hands, you could see a wet patch form and expand on the front of his SpongeBob shorts. Jeff got the better of Randy. I didn't but know a kid pissed himself. Thank you. Guns. This was unheard Wait, what of the in the neighborhood. What? And even some of the parents were now running into the huh? distance shouting, Someone call 911. Jeff couldn't do anything with huh? guns pointed at him. And before he knew it, Randy They didn't have a gun, they had a lighter. Troy and Keith laughed like the goons they were. And then Randy just started beating Jeff to a pulp. He dragged Jeff into the Wait, kitchen, a... whereupon he picked Wait up a, a bottle of they vodka a and smashed right, it on Jeff's head. But Jeff didn't fight back. They did have a lighter. Every punch, Even I know this. Every kick. And they his set him on fire. A shard of glass yeah. was sticking out of his what head. What the fuck his is this version? Pushing, but he didn't fight back. Come on. Said Randy. Is this supposed to be like a fight back. more kid-friendly version? Jeff just took more shots at the face, so but he didn't retaliate. I, I, I don't... Try and light the fire they pulled out a gun. I don't think it's kid-friendly. Right <laughs> yeah. That's all because of me. Fight me. Part three. I mean, Jeff so what? And that like was it. Well what? Was the final stroke. Okay, Kuro. Well what basically happens is that inside of him again. he gets set on fire. Like a rabbit he gets set on fire. Randy was helpless. What? Jeff drew back his fist and punched Randy to right, right in the heart. Video. A shocked look appeared Her? on Randy's face, like he'd just seen the devil himself. He took one last breath, blood okay, bubbled from his mouth, and he died there and then. The parents there what? still couldn't believe what they witnessed. What the there were fuck? Children, children that had become feral, what animalistic, bestial. What Keith is this head cannon? guns on Jeff. They fired and missed. Chaotic. Jeff ran That's up the stairs is. past the parents. This is so big. This shock. is so not Their even based on. Than the new ceramic tiles on the kitchen floor. <laughs> now out of bullets, Troy and Keith pulled knives out on Jeff, but soon Jeff had his own oh, weapon, a towel rack. He cracked Troy's balloon-sized head with the rack, knocking him clean out. 
Skinny Keith realized he was probably now out of his Bruh. death, but it was too late. There was nowhere to run. They were both Bruh. in the bathroom fighting, he, and suddenly they no, hit a No, he's supposed to be in the hospital, and, and then he wakes up, the bleach was open, and, and the he's boys like, both covered in the stuff. oh yeah. Keith screamed as the I'm going crazy now, guys. And that's when Jeff caved Keith's wiry Hello, face in with his handy towel rack. As Keith lay on the floor, I not far from death, he smiled. Funny, huh? Said Jeff, somewhat nonplussed, even though he was no stranger to strangeness. Look at you, mumbled Keith through bloody broken teeth. You've been doused in bleaching vodka. Keith's last effort to beat that new kid was to throw a cigarette lighter at Jeff. So Jeff now they throw flame. a lighter? And what the he fuck? Ran downstairs and through the house. He was a ball of flames, a human inferno. Parents stood back what and the heck? Jeff collapsed, and that's the last thing I'm he remembered so about that day. This is Part four, after Jeff the killer. The, the next thing Jeff knew, he was lying in a hospital bed and he couldn't move. Almost his entire body was covered with bandages. Suddenly he heard, he's awake. It was that familiar oh voice of his overbearing mother. Are they going to say his eye was burned off? Because Jeff, they went burned said, off and Lewis, got set on fire. Lewis told the police that Randy had first produced the knife. Your brother's free. We're going home, a family again. Jeff felt a twinge of relief, but it was hard to be happy when All his right, body was sure. covered in third, second, and first degree burns. He tried to smile, and then he realized that he had no lips to smile with. Mm -hmm. His mother saw her son's pain. Fair. Good news, though, uh, Jeff. Every cloud has a silver... She didn't finish her sentence, this time being self-aware enough not to be chirpy in a horrible situation. Sometime later... Yes, mother, can you tell me how ugly I am? Thank you. <laughs> this is gonna hurt a bit, the doctor told Jeff, as those final bandages unfurled from Jeff's face. He was taken aback by the sheer horror painted on his parents' faces. They were trying to suppress their disgust, but something hardwired into their brains wouldn't allow them to hide their terror. Jeff asked for a mirror. The doctor told him, just start with so one part of your face and then move to another part. It looks so goofy the way they drew him. Uh -huh. Jeff didn't take that advice and instead just grabbed It looks so fucking seconds, goofy. Minutes, he looks like he someone cosplaying mirror, a moving clown. Moving his head from side to side, it studying does. every angle. His parents were waiting for him to cry, to scream, to collapse in shock. But as Jeff kept looking at his new face, a white leathery face, a face without eyelids, without anything resembling God normal damn it, he lips. Didn't looked as though he was happy. Bro, how did he blink? His personal he tragedy. didn't. It's perfect. He said, Why is he blinking? Perfect. He wasn't crying. Why he his blinking? He got no eyelids. He was trying to laugh. When Jeff was left it's alone, also the like he, he burned off his eyelashes when he got home. Not his eyes that are that already burned the off. Reality, he said, hadn't just set in. Just take him home, the doctor said. What the and fuck? give him a lot of support. Of course we will, said Jeff's mother, feeling ever so slightly. Nah, I don't that think about that sheep. Nah, 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 nah. I don't think about that. 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 Said the doctor as he was walking away. Don't let him be alone for long. Later that night, while the family was sleeping, Jeff's mom was awoken by a strange sound coming from the bathroom. When she entered that bathroom, she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Jeff was carving a smile into his face with a knife. He'd also cut so off what delayed remained of his the audio eyelids. From the How animation. Look, Ma, Jeff said earnestly. She couldn't even speak. She couldn't move. The woman was petrified. First of all, he burned off his eyelashes. Don't you think I'm beautiful anymore? Yeah, she said while and slowly backpedaling out of the bathroom. You are my beautiful son. You'll always be my beautiful little honeypot. She then ran for it, make got it, Jeff's it. dad, <laughs> and the two of them tried to wrestle the knife from I Jeff's said, hand. I said, fuck what? this, because the Jeff demon screamed, fuck that. You lied to me. You don't think I'm beautiful. He was too powerful for them. The rage had returned, and it wasn't difficult to stick that knife into both of them. Even. Jeff stood over uh, them, their lungs drowning okay, in their own Okay, but then they were asleep, though, sight. when he murdered he them. The killer. That's what he'd always been. A oh, killer. yeah, they he had were. One last stop yeah, they were asleep. Fulfilled his own prophecy. Jeff walked into Lou's room. Standing at the side of Lou's bed, he put his scarred, leathery hand over his brother's mouth. Lou suddenly looked at Jeff with wide open eyes as his dear brother sunk a knife deep into his stomach. Shh. And then he Jeff. didn't die. Just sleep. Part 5 Jeff the Thriller. We weren't kidding at the start when we said Oh my that god, still going on. Sports Jesus young Christ. People are abducted by strangers. But did Jeff the Killer ever actually exist? We think most of you already know that this is fiction, but what really gives it away? If you go back from the start of the original well, if Jeff you guys the Killer made story, up fucking there's always story. a part that says excerpt from okay, a local newspaper. Okay, pause it. I think we're done with the killer Jesus is still Christ. large. After weeks of unexplained murders, the no. unknown killer is still on the rise. After little evidence has been found, a young boy states oh. that he survived one of the killer's attacks and bravely tells his story. Okay, so first of all, the headline of that story, ominous unknown killer is still at large, would never be a headline in any newspaper anywhere. Trust us. We have former journalists and editors on our team of writers. The writer of Girl, Jeff the, the Killer seems to have found that 
adjective Let's ominous and had. then gone and used it wherever he can. Want, Secondly, what? the first paragraph is badly written. Listen Let's to this. There, in the little ray of light illuminating from between my curtains were a pair Snapchat. of two eyes. These weren't regular eyes, they were dark, ominous eyes. Ominous again. But the grammar also isn't corrected in the first sentence. As for a pair of two eyes, that's called a pathology, and no news editor on earth would allow that to go to print. So we know at the very beginning that this tale is not true. If the point was to make it sound believable, the Jeff the Killer writer messed up right at the start. As for a young boy attacking other young boys and going on a murder JD spree, well, there just haven't been any murder sprees of this kind know, right? since the story was this first published so in 2011. So what about Jeff's amazing heart-stopping strength? Well, let's just take a giant leap and say Jeff was possessed it feels and had like superhuman strength for a 13 year old kid. It so feels like I'm watching a fucking cortis, theory video to a person because they're, they're just trying the to be like, oh chest. yeah, we're so smart right because we know yes, pop. It can pop. Shut the fuck up. You can actually find Ugh. quite a few stories of when this has happened to young people, although baseballs were the killer, not the punches. What about Jeff so blowing up in flames after having this a vodka so bottle smashed over him and being doused with bleach? Firstly, not much vodka would have gotten on Jeff. Secondly, you yeah, can set just, a person on fire just, if you- Just, just, no. Nothing, they're just not- Just no. Yeah, just no. Just, just simply no. Okay, one- Yeah, actually watch the acrid version, not the nerdy fucking headcanon version yeah, they go. made. Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Jeff the Killer is the protagonist of oh, one of the so most smooth. famous creepy pasta on the internet. He was born okay. after the appearance in forums of a disturbing picture in 2008. These Kirby pastas are short horror stories collected and shared on the internet intended to scare or disturb readers. The name comes from mm -hmm. the word copy pasta, which is used to describe how these stories are copied and pasted. As you know, I was a forums. top sailor in my Even class. Even though the real origin of, of the story is unknown, a lot of people believe it started in 4chan, one of the most famous and biggest forums on the internet. There, a little girl called Katie Robinson shared a picture of herself in her bedroom. It didn't take long for offensive comments to appear, teasing her because of her weight, etc. This girl ended up committing suicide because of the bullying she suffered. Oh boy. It is said that this picture was the one used to inspire the terrifying image of Jeff, turned into a meme She's right writing away. things in Spanish. After all of this, the snowball effect did its work. The story started growing because of forum users. They started speculating about a fictitious origin of the gloomy character. By chance, the story starts just like Katie's, an innocent child named Jeff who suffered bullying at school. As a teenager, he moved to mm -hmm. a different village with his family, trying to escape from the abuse. There, he's attacked by three boys he didn't know who try to rob him. But Jeff, under an uncontrollable rage, brutally beats them up. His brother Liu, who was with him, was indicted and jailed. Sometime after this, when things were starting to go back to normal, Jeff was invited to a birthday party at his neighbor's. Art. Surprisingly, the boys who tried to rob him showed up looking for revenge. Jeff kills two of them. This is more the accurate. The third one Goddamn. covers him up with bleach and alcohol and sets him up on See, fire. See, that's after the accurate the attack, version. He starts losing his mind. Yeah. He burns his eyelids. See, so you can see his face every time he looks in the mirror. And he cuts his cheeks so he always looks like he's smiling. He <laughs> finds himself beautiful. His mother went to the bathroom oh, following wow. the sounds Jeff was making. That's a very detailed him, drawing. Yeah. Transformed. Scared, she ran to her room looking for what her was husband that and telling sound? him to grab his shotgun. Bitch, I'm Jeff, <laughs> before they could do anything, stabs him to death. Shortly after, he does the same to his brother, Liu. And this is how the story of Jeff the Killer was born. An assassin who enters houses when people are sleeping and takes like as Chucky. many human lives as I possible. Know. This creepypasta <laughs> has arrived into several incarnations of Jeff, all of them following the original story. Oh With god, not Jane the Killer, Jesus Christ. Jane the Killer, the nemesis of Jeff. The story, twisted as no other, has become viral and it has been adapted even to a video game. The famous Who's myth Janet still Miller? appears on the internet. Um, basically, she hunts down Jeff users. because uh, along with his he uh Jeff she didn't die more from his attack. It's it's, it's a long story. From what I remember, he killed her family. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want okay, to see more my stream, <laughs> subscribe. To it's like nine o'clock. I might do the same soon. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just... finish drawing up this though, or coloring this in. Do to watch Jane the Killer first? Sure. Why not?
since we're all deep in the lore now. <laughs> well, that other person's drawing was cute. Welcome to a new Draw My Life video. Welcome to a new Scary Tuesday special about St. Like Valentine's Day. Today, we're talking about Jeff the I Killer's creepy past again. And we'll That's share a with you a story we it made is. up about him and his arch enemy, Jane. Hope you like it. The Richardsons were a normal family. They had been in the same neighborhood their uh, whole yes. life. <laughs> their house had been passed on from generation to generation. The young Jane Richardson was tired of her quiet life. Always the same story. Nothing exciting ever happened in that town. One day, while she was daydreaming looking out the window, Won't she saw a minivan full of people <laughs> parked at the front of the house opposite the road. Nobody had you lived hope there what you since got you old wish Mr. For. Johnson died years earlier. Uh -oh. New neighbors! Just been told that she saw a young guy water. with pale skin and do brown I? hair coming I out do. of the car. He was wearing a t-shirt with black and white stripes. Mm -hmm. Behind him, she saw another guy, a bit younger. He looked her age. They were pretty cute, actually. Jane, dinner is ready. The next morning, Jane went downstairs for breakfast in her pajamas, and her mother told her the Woods had just moved. They had two boys, <laughs> and they would go to her same high school. Her mom always knew what was going on around them. Jane took longer to get ready that day. She brushed I've her been hair told carefully, to hydrate and put on her favorite <laughs> skirt, and knee-high skirt. She waited at the door for a couple Time of to minutes to see if the two Did brothers were coming. Really just so, so hard for her. When she checked the time, she realized she was late. Okay, she but that outfit. Hydrate. When she arrived, Pop Jeff off. was already there, sitting at the end Mary, of the class. What happened if he you choose die? Looking out the window with lost Did eyes, just... she wanted to approach him and talk to him. That's what you do. Around and the class started. I think Dihydrate would be At lunch end time, stream. Jeff didn't move from the chair. Jane wanted to introduce herself. I thought the hy her dehydrate would mean the do not hydrate. At the hey, Michael hasn't invited me to right the game. Can you believe it? Has anybody I'm asked you already? Jane wasn't paying attention to Stacy. She was thinking about the new boy. Hello, are you listening? This is important. Yeah, sorry. I'm sure he'll ask you soon. Damn. She didn't want to keep talking about the same balance. I have hydrated. She still didn't have a partner to She go really with. said, she walked I wasn't cute enough for that fucker. At the end of it, she saw Jeff <laughs> putting something inside his locker, looking sad. Ah, yellow. When she went back home after the cheerleaders' practice, it was almost night. It was pouring she got so rain pretty too. And she didn't have an umbrella. Successful. She walked with her black boots, trying not to step on the I just slapped my puddles. water bottle into the But then, into the when oblivion. she turned around the corner, she found a violent situation. Jeff was laying on the ground and his nose the and his lips were looks bleeding. So cool. His clothes were Dang. soaked and dirty, with mud Such and blood. Well Next defense. to him, Randy, Troy, and Jake were trying to find money on his backpack. What the fuck is this? He's only got shit in here. We should beat him so he learns to carry valuable things with him. Jesus! He's getting wet because of this moron. Let's go home, Randy. Randy kicked Bro. him one last time in the abdomen before they left. Damn! She ran towards him and helped him get up, holding That's Jeff's gonna leave head a with her in the arms. morning. His eyes were closed. It looked like he had fainted. When she looked at his face, Jane thought he was sweet and cleaned the blood from his face. Are you okay? Does it hurt a lot? <laughs> Does it hurt a lot? I'll You're bleeding, but are you okay? <laughs> it looks look like you've just been mauled by a bear. Are you okay? She felt butterflies <laughs> your arm, your arm's hanging up. Started are you okay? <laughs> The sound of the rain was interrupted. Jane, I don't think it's time to think about voice. how hot the dude I'm is as he's ever. as he's fucking he beaten up. Said, with a smile on his face, she smiled back at him. Y'all, he's dying. Such a romance. Such a romance. Oh, baby, you look so hot, being yeah, covered in oh, fucking Jane, <laughs> blood. Nice Jeffrey Woods oh, is boy. gonna be mine. She thought. What's that Thanks you got on? Help, Jane. Blood? If you Pretty need hot. anything, you can ask me for help. Then, Jane, he Jane just got his ass idea. beat. I don't think you want to claim him that is to be your boyfriend. Valentine's dance. The date was getting closer, and she still hadn't found anyone to go with. Going alone. Damn, you really said, let me go for this random dude I found. Ask, she gathered all her yeah. courage. You could come with me to the dance if you don't have a partner already, of course. Jeff accepted, a bit surprised. After this, they became inseparable. 
Jane oh, loved Lord. being with Sweet Jane. Always seems when they much were not together, the she liked one. to look at him through what? the window. This one? The days went by yeah. and the night of the dance arrived. What do you arrived. think her version Jen was? was very handsome with his black suit and his red bow tie. I the didn't think it was like a fan fiction. And made him look very Bestie, attractive. they're all fan fiction. Jane was nervous. She was wearing a red sequin dress and black high heel shoes. They danced all night as if the rest of the people didn't exist. She was leaning okay, on his shoulder and he was holding heels. her waist. Oh, that until dress is cute. Finally, they painful melted enough into a magical kiss. Get off her, get Suddenly, off her toes. Randy and his friends appeared. They <laughs> That's took what I'm Jeff thinking outside and Jane ran after so them. <laughs> the boys wanted to beat him up. Jeff got furious <laughs> and a sadistic smile and look appeared on his face. Oh, he ended up killing two something. of them. Randy, scared, spread alcohol and bleach fuck? around him and set him up on fire. Jane felt helpless with the whole situation. Okay. She grabbed her phone and called the police right before she passed <gasps> out. She woke up at the hospital with her parents and she asked, What happened? Is Jeff all right? Don't ever talk to that kid again. We forbid you from seeing him again. Her mom said. Oh, yes. But mom, Jeff is special. You don't understand. <laughs> Enough, Jane. This Jane, he lives up on fire. I don't Jane, think you want Jane that date anymore. Her parents escaped and looked for him in every room of the hospital. Jane, she found please. him with a bandage around his head. What happened to your beautiful face? But it didn't matter what Jeff looked like now. She would still love him. Once recovered, they went back home. Even though Jane hmm. was banned from talking to him, she continued <laughs> it's to watch him and she realized hmm. he was acting weirder and weirder. It's like it's not him anymore. That mm. terrifying smile never leaves Red flags, that's, that's <laughs> crimson. Forgot about me. One night, Jane Bestie woke up to like the sound email. of the door. Yeah, he does. She he literally came from fucking Hot Topic. <laughs> Damn, Bestie. <laughs> Did you finish your trip at Hot Nobody Topic? Will take us apart. <laughs> oh, I wish. Jane, scared. Grabbed a sharp knife. Now she you're scared. Where she found her parents. Now you're scared, girl. You thought he was hot. And a terrible, disfigured Jeff, waiting for Bro. her. His hair used to be brown, but was now black. His eyelids were burned. His mouth. <laughs> and he had the same sadistic look he had. Damn, Barry. You looked in the, the mirror today. <laughs> look who has finally woken up. Why that face, Jane? They had to go to I sleep. Me. Don't worry. I'll make you look as beautiful Damn, as Damn, is that me. people when they wake up? What do you do, Jeff? Are you crazy? How yes. could you? I will kill you, <laughs> whatever <laughs> it takes. Most Jeff, that? Oh, yeah, that's a reasonable answer. That's a reasonable he had answer. turned into Jeff the killer. He spread gasoline and bleach around Jane and set the house in fire. I did not fire. like that sound effect. When Jane woke me up, either. she was It sounds like you're slapping macaroni. Her head hurt. A nurse told her her family had been killed during the fire. When she looked at herself in the mirror, she got frightened. Her face was completely burned. Later, I'm Jane sorry. Got a package with a mask Ow. inside, a bunch of black roses and that a sharp painful. knife. There was also a note. Jane, I'm sorry you don't look as beautiful as me, but Bitch. now we will be together eternally. From that day on, yeah. she swore she You really said you don't look pretty anymore, girl. Bye. Family. How Fuck you. dare Bruh, the damned after she Jeff with you. take her loved ones from wow. her? Jane's motto is the contrary of Jeff's. Don't go to sleep. To get in the way of Jeff trying to do the same to more innocent victims. However, when the time I would have, comes, I would have made it wakey -wakey. will Jane be capable <laughs> wakey -wakey, of Wakey-wakey, bitch! Wakey-wakey! <laughs> and perpetrate her revenge. Her best friend, her first love. Will they be together again, or is it just an illusion I didn't think of her, in love? I didn't think of her, like, loving him, to be honest. Happy I day thought of her, love like, having a huge stackers. fucking vendetta against We her. hope you have enjoyed this St. Yeah. Valentine's special review of the story. Did she just draw a cleaver in a heart? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Yep. amazing okay I, I won't do my outro now <laughs> Alrighty then oh fuck you i'm almost done coloring this in and then i can end stream bye no <laughs> I, no 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 no, no. <laughs>